Uh, I'm running back to the party being chased by something dangerous. <laughs> you will decide what it is. <laughs> you, 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 that was not the answer David was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm much happier with this answer. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> guys, guys, you didn't kill all of the wolves. <laughs> chased by, uh, by an undead wolf. Undead wolf. <laughs> Uh, it is currently chomping Shit. at your heels. Uh, while you're noticing, as it chomps, one of its rotten, disgusting teeth just falls out of its mouth. <laughs> Gross. Good. That's one less in me. <laughs> <laughs> True say. What if he bites you and all the rest gets stuck in you? So give me an initiative. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah, uh, jeez. So I guess Kraya didn't stick with you for very long. <laughs> <laughs> was she with me? <laughs> she yeah, you, got, you guys left together. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, ah, you can't run as fast as me. I'm out. <laughs> she succumbed to the wolves. <laughs> oh, no. Is everyone, everyone rolls initiative? <laughs> yep, everyone. Nice. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm calling shit. on you guys to save my ass. <laughs> yep. Oh, my initiative is negative one. God oh, damn. no. <laughs> Someone's getting bit. Wow, zero. And that's like, I didn't know you could go that low. <laughs> Good, difficult. Um, did mine go through there? Or? It did. Okay, good. You're Making sure there's a big old, yeah, there's a big old red text thing above it saying no valid token was selected. Oh, uh, it might be for mine. Well, it, it all seems to have worked for me. Cool. I see them all. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I don't know where my token is though. That's why. It's on oh, the south. Uh, he is way at the bottom. Yeah, you, uh, you you're not near people when you're being chased. You're the one that said you were being chased. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, at turn. At Doctor turn. tries to leave and just ends up getting <laughs> chased turn. back by a wolf. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Four guys got nineteen. <laughs> And Vasilia was out to lunch. It's true. He's probably monologuing somewhere. Uh, so uh, I'm going to say that you and the wolf have a surprise uh, round before everyone else gets to go. Uh, so the wolf got a zero, which is a two. Oh. And you got a zero, wow. which is a, a zero. <laughs> this, is like, this is like a race between people on the ship and Wally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crawling back to you guys, and the wolf is like stalking me, like slowly on the ground, like waiting for me to die. <laughs> it's actually only the upper half of the wolf dragging itself yeah. along. So, the most of a wolf is going to do its best ability to sprint towards you and chomp off a chunk of your legs. Ah, jeez, I hate yeah. it when. Zombie wolf, chop off my legs. Does an 18 hit? Oh yeah, definitely does. So you're going to take 12 damage. Oh. That half a wolf has got some bite to him. Ouch. So you, you are up, Dr. Oliver. Thank you for starting it off this way. I was going to have you explain what happened, but this is way better. <laughs> Well, I guess I will dash, and so I have 30 feet, 60 feet. How do you make a move along the path again? Uh, I don't know. Nick does that. I just, like, make a mark and, yeah. Um, I think you, you uh, 30. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Oh, yeah. if you click and, and then right you like uh, run away, the wolf attempts to bite you, but the wolf is just not not able to gra <laughs> to grasp that you're sprinting little dentist legs. <laughs> <laughs> and tiny little elf legs. All right. I will curse at the wolf in Sylvan as I'm running away. This language <laughs> that I just learned while I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Borg, as you are up, 
You see my crowd of it sprinting away from a wolf. I sense rotting flesh. <laughs> it's very far away. Okay. Um, do I have... I probably still have my spear equipped from last time. Yep. So I'm going to... Yeah, I get this far, I guess. I'm trying to act on the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. If you hold your character and then right click, that's what yeah. does it. Yeah. So I can go this far. Boop. Yeah, I don't get that. That, that, uh, that doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you. <laughs> oh, do you have to be mm. holding a character and right clicking? Yeah, and right click the ground. Yeah. Nope. So, so if you yeah. grab someone, yeah. move them, and then right click. So I'm going yep, to uh, I'm going to use a key point to uh, to dash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to step past Doctor Ottoman. Yep. Who's running? And I believe that's your bonus action to use a key to dash as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Step of the wind. Bonus action to dash. Whew. So that's another key point gone. And then I'm going to throw my spear at this guy. Uh, with disadvantage given the distance, correct? Uh, nope. Spear is, uh, wait. Oh, shit, you're right. Javelins are further. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, the, no, javelins aren't even that much further. Okay. Um, damn, I should have just regular dashed then. I guess that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll key dash in here and then use my action to dodge. So I'll just impose myself between the threat. Okay. Uh, Ren, you are up. You actually recognize this person who is... Uh, who is call, who's who's calling for help, unlike for <laughs> guess. <laughs> Before, I was just kind of passed out on the ground. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I'm going to be, like, little to no help here. <laughs> Yeah. You have longer um, range than my pathetic throw. <laughs> not with like not like I feel like the wolf isn't really worth using spell slots for. <laughs> uh, you might be right. Just by walking there we go. The speed. Cool. Um so um if I move here. How far away are you people? Good. <laughs> 30 so feet from me, I can't hit people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I will just dash in behind Ottoman. <laughs> right about there. Sounds Wait. good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Doctor, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> I am indeed, my friend. I'm here to help, just in case. Supervision, you know, from a lower <laughs> angle. Leading I got your behind. ankles covered. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not be tripped. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you are indeed in trouble because the undead wolf has exactly 50 feet of movement. Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> so it is just able to reach Borges, who has conveniently come into its bite. Yeah. <laughs> Convenient for the wolf. We, we good. <laughs> I got sixteen armor. So, Doctor Ottoman, someone has just come in to rushing to help you that you do not recognize. Who looks like? I just kind of like slink around, and this wolf where jumps up, put, and I just like did I put your character sheet? There you go. Who looks like this? It's trying to bite me. I'm just like kind of batting it back with my half of my spear, mm. keeping it away from me. Wait, what does it look like? Oh, did it not pop up? No. Oh, shorter players. Is it not in everyone's journals? Maybe. I uh, see. players journals. Nothing's popping up on my end. Oh, oh there, there we go. Borgas dark spear. Crazy last name. 
<laughs> it's sort of a last name. It's the name of my tribe. We don't really have names. Hmm. That's cool. Well, you're saving my life, so right now I'm pretty okay with you. <laughs> <laughs> Get back. Counting. I'll handle this. <laughs> I'll, like, cower behind Dark Spear and, like, look over his shoulder at the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess Dark Spear, it's your turn, then. Oh, yeah. that Was that, was that your action, Sean? Um... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna unload on this thing then. Uh, so I'm gonna hit it with my spear, uh, two-handed. For junk. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. Really <laughs> show. Oh this my is god. We like. So I'm just gonna like quickly twirl my spear in his hand, do like a full like 360 spin, and stab this thing in the side of the neck. For 10. And then I'm going nice. to uh, bonus action Hungry Jaw. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat the wolf? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Actually, maybe I don't want to use that against Undead. That doesn't make sense. I'm just going to regular bite. Do do. Oh, yeah. That has to be accuracy. Yeah. Good thing it was a story, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spit it out. I don't wanna actually eat them. There we go. For five. So fifteen damage total. So the wolf does not look like it particularly cares about this damage. It's like you took off a little bit of its flesh. But barely. Mm. But it just don't care. Mm-hmm. Ren, you're up. I am going to blast them real good. With blast. A. The, but I still have my sword out from last time. I get no, never mind. I don't actually want to get that close. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous game. <laughs> oh, let's see here. What the hell did I set up from last time? Right. Okay. I am just going to shoot a produce flame at him. Uh, where the fuck did that go? Come on. Ah! 17. You connect with it, uh, and it's flesh sears. Cool. Uh... The two of you that are closer, you smell the disgusting smell of burning uh, wolf hair. Nice. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. I weakened them for you. We will purge its rotting flesh. Yes. <laughs> Not bad, um, small one. As the wolf was chasing Dr. Otto, that it's going to push past Foragaz uh, to get a bite at its. Uh, previous prey. Ah. God damn. Oh. Uh, I hit you for fifteen. <laughs> Just and I'm down. down. <laughs> damn. Jesus. Jesus. This wolf is a goddamn animal. <laughs> <laughs> These soft skins are so vulnerable. Wolf. Jesus wolf. <laughs> Even its metallic <laughs> encasings aren't okay. enough. <laughs> uh, give me a death save. <laughs> All right, how do we do that? Roll a d20. Our raw d20. D20? Unprotected. You have one success. Right on. Uh, with three, you uh, stabilize. If you get a 20, you stand up with one health. If you get a one, it's two fails. On three fails, you're dead. Okay. Nice. Unless someone picks them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I get attacked. Yeah, which is a, a failure every time you get attacked. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Vorgas, you're up. All right, frustrated that it just slipped past me like that. I'm just gonna smoke him with my spear again. Oh, not so. Ooh, bad. it's gonna slip right, right over its ear. Right over his ear. 
Damn it. You went for a killing blow, but you just completely missed connecting with the air. All right, with that, I'm going to, I'm just going to like use its back to leap over in front of him and try to take mm -hmm. a chunk out of the back of its head with a bite. Ooh. Oof. And your That's jaws great. reach out to grasp it, but you notice that it is already squirming, trying to get a, uh, a larger chunk of Dr. Ottoman's flesh. Ugh. The delicious smell of this, uh, this fresh human is distracting. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I've been out here with undead for days, okay? Run you up. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. I am also at a 16 health socks. Uh, I'm just going to run up and pick up the doctor. Okay. Uh, so he's uh, substantially larger than you, so you're not yeah. going to be able to just lift him. Can I can I just use cure wounds on him to pick oh, him up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cool. You're, I'm going to heal him with cure wounds. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> pick up that, that, A little different. <laughs> <laughs> I just lift him with my pure strength. <laughs> Inspired by Kreia lifting you all those sessions. <laughs> oh god, exactly. Oh Jesus. Look casting attack bonus. Cool. Uh uh. Mm. Oh, I definitely put eight D eights and that's not what I want. It, yes it I is. I want it's absolutely one what D8. you want. You get six health. <laughs> right on. Six on. more than before. <laughs> yeah. So, as you... Uh, actually, are you still prone? You would be, right? Yeah. Probably. Because it hasn't been your turn yet. Okay. Um, as you're regaining consciousness, your eyes open, and you see the wolf with this disgusting thing that... It might have been slobber in the past, but now it is just a mixture of its oozes and its pusses coming out of its mouth as its jaws are coming down right over your face. Yeah. Ah. And it attacks you, oh, with advantage because it's you're prone, but it, it just like, it's hunger, it goes for the killing blow, but because you happen to be awake, you manage to just move your neck out of the way. Nice. Thank Good God. Good dodge. <laughs> and uh, you are off. I too would All be right. surprised if the turkey I was about to cut into opened its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I stand up. Mm -hmm. And I guess I will fight back against this wolf with a regular nice. attack. Let me just find out where I roll. Orcish Battle Axe. Let's use that. Good job. Oof. And uh, as oh. you try to swing the Battle Axe, you, you watch as, as you lift it up. You go to, to drop it back down, but your hands are empty. You've dropped it behind you. Ah, oh, damn. You're going to hit me. <laughs> Just sitting back there like, what the fuck, doctor? <laughs> oh, man, that's rough. Fucking elf yeah. dentist can't catch okay. a break in this world. <laughs> four, four of you guys did kill three of you, right? I'm not lucky. Yeah, I'm not missing. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, uh, forecast, you are up. I really thought this is going to be so much faster. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So seeing, uh, I was is, thinking about putting two of them, but I'm so happy I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> TPK, because Sean mentioned a runaway. 
<laughs> God, would have, actually, they would have had advantage. I think they, I think it might have actually mattered. Yeah, it would have hit more, guys. It would have hit Sean another time. Oh my God! Coming at him with the spear again. Ho! We're done oh. with this fucking wall. <laughs> I was frustrated that I just missed him twice. Yeah. So I'm gonna, got him good this time. I'm gonna get him good. Get him better. And if there's anything left, I'm coming in with a bite. There's a lot left. Good. Well. You connect with your bite. Uh. I spit that piece over beside Dr. Ottoman. If it were just a regular wolf, you're certain <laughs> that it would have been dead from your experience hunting wolves. <laughs> it makes sense why I couldn't hit it now. <laughs> Just hitting him with a relentless You can tell attack. that it's not just a regular wolf. Or you can tell that its flesh falling off has made it tougher. I don't know, man. <laughs> has made it not willing to die. It would have bled out by now, but there's no blood, just undead pus. That's that's a better way to explain why undead have so much help. Well, this excites for you guys. He's down. He's like, ah, you're unlike the others. Okay, Ren, what would you like to do? The wolf uh, looks injured. It's still very, uh, still ready still and very... willing, uh, to pounce. Okay, I am going to cast, uh, produce flame on it again. Okay. Hit it with a wee fireball, and I'm gonna use one of my thingamajaggers as well to roll an extra d10 for damage. Mm -hmm. The harvest scythe. Mm -hmm. I just click it? I think I set it up. I don't know. No, just definitely it. not set up right. Oh, I like I it, though. Seven yeah, plus it's four. Seven. Pardon? The damage Where is just is seven, because I don't know why there's cool. a... Yeah, I, I, when you I set definitely up an attack, didn't. it can't have not a d20 before. It's really weird that oh, way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Huh. Uh, so this flame, you notice a big chunk of its flesh lighting on fire. It loses a good chunk of where did you hit it? Yeah, we'll say it's front right, sort of my okay. only little path through to it there. <laughs> so its entire front shoulder, you've noticed it's completely uh, burnt off. Uh, nice. Just exposing bone that is cracking as it tries to move. Uh, it's down to its last little bits of energy left in it. And it looks like, it has a look in its face like, if I'm going down, at least I'm going to feast on this elf. <laughs> As it goes in once again, this time, uh, because of all the damage done to it, missing completely. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so, Dr. Ottoman, it is looking you in the face, ready to chomp you. What would you like to do? Uh, I mean, punch it back in the face. Okay. <laughs> but wait, can I pick up the axe and use that? Of course. Yeah. yeah. All right. Pick up free, the, axe. Uh, the free interact to pick it back up. All right. Pick up that axe again, and then. Oh yeah. This time you miss, but less. <laughs> less embarrassingly. Less miserably. You go to place at where the flesh of its shoulder used to be, but you whiff through the air as that bit of flesh is burning off. All right, well, I'll just growl at the wolf angrily. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Borga, what would you like to do? My notions of soft skins being inferior out here are being proven constantly. So I drive forward with another spear attack. And you miss. Oh, no. I chomp him. <laughs> My you spear connect. slice brought me in close enough to just like, without being swinging back, I just come at him with all the teeth. <laughs> For minimal damage. And your minimal damage, it screams out in pain as it just barely manages to continue on. 
Nice. You see just like this undead glaze uh, taking off a large enough chunk that it would have certainly killed any living thing. Uh, now's your chance, small one. Out of my way. <laughs> Here comes another <laughs> fireball. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I still read that wrong. Sorry. No, no, no. I did read that wrong. Yeah, yeah. Five plus damage taken. Yep. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. It barely survives. Sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, Ren, you are up. Cool. Um, I will cast another produce flame at it. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, da. That's eight. Uh, and then I would also like to use a second one there. So put me down to one to do another d10. Uh, uh, good. So seven damage. Yeah. Okay, wrong one. And it crumples. Crumple. Nice. Um, uh, so from that thing dying, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give Sean that health, or not Sean, but the doctor. So <laughs> thank you. Does the doctor get both of your d10s, or only the d10 when it dies? Uh, so it's just a, a set amount of health here. It's, oh, okay. uh, da, da, da. if an undead dies, it is, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. come on. Oh, so it's not part of your harvest or it's uh, your harvesting undead? It, it, it's the harvesting undead. So he gets five extra life from that. Okay. Yeah. Just because it's undead. If it wasn't an undead, he'd only get two. Okay. Take your five health then, Dr. Ottoman. Why, thank you. Uh, what a shame. Your uh, your other companions are just hanging out around the Crimson Crusade. Uh, Vasilio is continuing to argue about how great he is, and is very confused about how they haven't heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Uh, Alfonso is continuing to talk to uh, Naomi the Wizard about wizarding things, and is so deep in a discussion in Draconic that none of you can understand, and I can tell you that if you could understand, you wouldn't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> he didn't notice anything happening at all. I want to turn to Ren and remark, um, you are full of surprises, little one. Of your group, you are not the one I would have pegged as the mightiest. But here we are. <laughs> as I slay the one single one here, <laughs> yeah, so, we, we, we got two of them out to lunch one of them getting owned like you're the only one who landed an attack yeah and then yeah. like <laughs> last round there I got wrecked as well oh yeah you did you spent what well, like yeah. that was the yeah that's true if I recall correctly last time Borges uh, was the one who landed the killing blow on all three yeah, yeah. he saved the shit out of all of us <laughs> That is true, yeah. <laughs> but now that you're not like a bear and or dead, you actually are showing some skills. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Weird lizard man, I still don't know you very well. <laughs> but you're doling out compliments, so you can see. Yeah, <laughs> I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you come from, lizard man? I like you. Well, I... I'm I'm from this area actually. I've spent all my life out west a little bit. Call your friends. Bring them here too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are none left. Oh, I, I'm I'm sorry then. I also have no friends left. There is no real will. They just were, and now they are not. The controller of these beasts. The as you call rotted ones motherfucker sorry uh, <laughs> uh, the controller of these rotted ones as you say destroyed all my friends well, so, you know we gotta get them back as strong as you were I am apparently the not they present a unique challenge to grow stronger. Yes. Yes, indeed. 
Onward then. <laughs> well, should we drag in the kill and throw it at the feet of those who would not come fight? The cowards. I am very little, so you can do that if you like. <laughs> <laughs> but these arms are not meant for carrying. Nothing but bricks for me. You've mentioned bricks before. It's not uh, important. At the would time. you like to uh, to bring the uh, the undead wolf with you? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll just like throw it like near the edge of the gathering, just to be like, "Hello, this is what we're okay. doing." Okay. Uh, as you do so, uh, Alfonso and Naomi in there talking in draconic. Uh, both look at it and they're like, uh, and they each throw one an ice bolt and the other a fire bolt at it, and you just watch as its body goes. Uh, first shattered, uh, shattering shard of ice hits it, <laughs> then it uh, lights up in fire, uh, and then it goes, oh, uh, and then they continue talking. Uh, both seem to just think like, oh yeah, thank you for the target practice, uh, and not really caring very much for you dropped on death. <laughs> All right, so I was going to turn to the other two and be like, there are many among you who would not survive out here. They're clueless. <laughs> Yet you seek the highest of challenges. I don't understand. Uh, let me think. What would, uh, if I were Nick, how would I respond to this? <laughs> uh, the highest of challenges? That's what I overcome. Me, Vasilio the Great. How could you not have heard of me? Hey, guys, back me up here. You, uh, uh, what was your name again, Lizard Man? You've certainly heard of me. I'm Vasilio the Great. Everyone's heard of me. Mm, I'm not familiar with this word. What does it mean? Uh, so he's just going to burst into a song uh, about how great he is. Uh, <laughs> and this song is so loud that all of the undead across the river hear, and they're now at full alert. <laughs> that, well, that does sound like what Vasilio would do, right? Pr probably, <laughs> yeah, probably. Can you give okay. him a performance role? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not not for the undead. Just I don't know how Vori guys would take this. No, no, I, I think that's a good thing for him to do. <laughs> I'm not overly it's impressed. It's not a great performance. <laughs> it's like, uh, we not have many impressed. younglings in my tribe like this. <laughs> they don't survive long. You don't survive for long. You don't protect your young? We do it we can, but fools die. This is a harsh <laughs> world. There. Especially those who seek out danger. Is that not you? The difference is I'm strong. Uh, My I skin see. is hard. Yours is not. I have claws and teeth. And you have instruments. My skin can be hard too. I'd like to transform into an alligator. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> that, that's a thing that I'm currently working on. Uh, <laughs> See, he turned into uh, an alligator. I instantly gained so much respect for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's a crocodile. Uh, Sorry. Oh, uh, I, that's not an alligator. That's a frog. I got a... <laughs> a not as cool. I, I, I eat frogs. Uh, Don't turn me into a frog in, in front of those bands. <laughs> like they're no alligator. Red's trying to flex. Uh, uh, you probably just get a lizard. The wrong thing. There, there is a lizard token. No, That's there's close. an alligator token. Like is there it, actually? it exists. I've seen it before. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> Maybe it's a crocodile. <sighs> I'll find it. It'll just, just, just like he, he's done it. Just, just be patient. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, just accept that it's happening. It's like, whoa, little one, you are full of surprises. Why do you not stay in this form at all times? You'd be so, better served to defend yourself. 
as a full size crocodile, would I be bigger than him right now? <laughs> Uh, you'd be longer than him, but much, much shorter. Oh, oh yeah, because I'm, I'm low. <laughs> yeah. I'd yeah. like to stand up on my back feet as well, to be uh, taller. Oh <laughs> I am over six can, feet tall. Can you give me an athletics okay. roll? Athletics, sure. I'm an athletic as fuck. <laughs> uh, with the crocodile stats. I'm not athletic as fuck. <laughs> Crocodiles? Uh... Athletic? Whatever his strength is, because uh, he won't have any bonuses to it. Uh, how would I go about rolling that? D20 plus whatever his strength is. Plus the strength mod, yeah. Do you know how oh. to manually roll? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a whole bunch it says, of lizards. So it says... Not crocodiles. 15 uh, and then in brackets it says plus two so plus two. Oh, here we go this is like so it'll be plus 17 all together then the crocodile, right d20 plus two or just but just plus two okay cool nice, nice. rolling shit wrong close i think you uh <laughs> slash r so not r slash yeah, yeah, yeah. got it, got it. Oh. <laughs> fucked up real bad <laughs> Well, <laughs> you still have more to work with than the rest of these soft skins. Okay, uh, no, so you, you try to stand up and you fall on your back. Uh, oh, you nice. push too hard and you fall, so now you're on your back. And you're going to need someone to help you get off your back. <laughs> Does anybody understand Crocodile? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I speak common and draconic. I don't know what Crocodile speaks. <laughs> <laughs> I try to speak I'd in like to look like I'm struggling. <laughs> Actually, uh, Sylvan like, might be closer. That's like a failure. Sylvan language, might right? be closer, but it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they can't speak languages. They're crocodiles. So you just have to push it if you see it struggling. <laughs> uh, so after like, you're struggling, Dr. Autumn is going to push you back right side up. <laughs> That's funny. Good. He knows what's up. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was. Uh, <laughs> I certainly have never seen those uh, do that in the wild. <laughs> Either way, I Not imagine me. you're harder to kill than the rest of these fools. Do you have a crocodile stat block, by the way? A stat block? I can see it, but... Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I, I don't... Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. here in front of me. Okay, good. Because I, I don't, that's what I was just asking. I was like, I, I haven't okay. done that one yet. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, perfectly wait, fine. You can have something with the swim speed, right? Because you're level four? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and good. crocodiles have swim speed. Yep. We good. Good. Just make it sure. Okay. So the uh, the Crimson Crusade is uh, going to look at you and be like, come on, are you going to get moving or what? As they sat here the whole fucking time. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're saying we just finished... Our breakfast. We're ready to march. Like, are, like they're addressing us. Are you yeah, ready they're addressing you? you. Yeah, we are ready to march. Are you ready to march on the undead? Uh, We're not stopping you. Oh god, so little. But you're not joining us either, then. Ottoman's gonna sit there, looking exhausted <laughs> and tired, and like he just got chased by half a wolf for about twenty miles. Uh, so one of them is going to notice that you're injured uh, and is going to cast... It's going to walk over to you and cast Cure Wounds. Oh, thank God. Uh, I mean, thank Bohemet. <laughs> <laughs> thank the sword! <laughs> uh, healing you for seven. Oh, very nice. <laughs> you're at a higher health total than me. <laughs> Wait, you're, full, are... you're a full health crocodile. I guess, yeah. yeah. 18. <laughs> oh, wait, did I? So I got four health. I don't think I added that to my health. I should have 29 max. Oh, no, no, I added that to your health. It was 21 before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect then. Uh, you've been very unlucky with all of your rolls. 
Uh, Tell me about it. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish you had a house that was more more similar to Tabor Gaz. It would make more sense. Oh but, yeah. Well, he's just a has, soft skin. You have you have the same health as the other soft skins. <laughs> just so happy as, to be as soft the, the and everything is as it should be. Like, <laughs> oh my god i didn't realize it you... <laughs> i have completely validated in my world view <laughs> god how have you not died yet <laughs> no, he was expressing a difficulty in getting to the front lines before. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe. My... God, I gotta do a better job of killing you. <laughs> I'm sure with Misty Step it might happen. Oh, Ren's right, no, always the target because he's small. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> um, sorry. Okay, so uh, oh, they're gonna uh, the crazy crusade. They're gonna say, okay, once this annoyance finishes his song, uh, we're planning on marching towards the lich. Uh, you're with Naomi. Are, are you with us? Are you? Who is he talking to? Uh, the three of you. Uh, the two of you and an alligator. Okay. I can't answer for you guys. I'm still a bit of a separate entity here. I kind of want um, to see what you yeah. guys say. <laughs> I would transform back, but <laughs> this is my second <laughs> transform of the day. <laughs> I need this. Uh, Ren Flex, go to use it. All right. It's up to me, the leader of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will partake in your quest, but could I please have a glass of water first, as I have traveled far? Uh, so they're, they're going to laugh, and they're going to say, water? <laughs> of course, have our holiest water. Uh, so they're going to hand you a glass that you look at, and it's water with a, a slight pink tint. I and drink I say, it all immediately without questioning. Okay. Uh, it's floral. They cheer, and they say, for the, uh, "For the glory of all life." Uh, and it tastes, uh, it tastes delicious. It tastes like a, a slight hint of rose with a beautiful floral uh, undertone. Amazing! I can taste it now. Uh, so they're gonna say, "Now, now that you've partaken in the holy water, uh, you." Uh, are you going to join our cause? What's your cause? Uh, we are the Crimson Crusade. We fight against all undead at all costs. Uh, it was there. Yes. Uh, we fight all undead at any cost. That's at it. any cost. <laughs> any cost. Well, I'm in for a certain cost, but any cost seems kind of steep. Uh, so I'm just going to scoff, and I'll be like, oh, there's no cost that is too steep in the fight against the undead. Uh... Hello? Hello. Oh, hello, Nick. Yo. What's going on, guys? Sorry for being late. Uh, Thank yeah. God, Vasilio. No Yo, cost is here. too steep. There was, once a, there was once an army of us. Now there are three. But no cost is too steep. We will end the undead threat. All right. Well, I guess I'm on board because that's where the drinks are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, gotta get more of that pink water. <laughs> yeah. I think I have to follow you guys just because I'm in such a vulnerable state. <laughs> Doesn't know what else to do with his life. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Got turned down by a sword. I, I, don't I, can't, know what's I can't believe you ran from a creature with such bad dental issues. 
just start like fixing up. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Your your tooth fell out there, Mister Wolfie. Uh, sorry, and I just added it to you, but you healed for two when you drank the rose water. Oh, great. So I, I want I want to approach now and be mm -hmm. like, why why do you fight the undead with such zeal? Uh, ones. So they're gonna look at you very confused and like because they're evil, of course. This is what we've always done. We've always fought the undead. Kind of cock my head. I'm like, evil. Every one of us trained from birth. Well, as have I. As have <laughs> all my people trained from birth. Uh, so they're going to look at you like, oh good, are you one of us then? Uh, which cathedral did you train in? I'm just like, what? I don't know. What is a cathedral? Uh, no, I am not one of you. This is plain. I'm stronger. Okay. Uh, so uh, they're not going to realize that you are a lizard. Really? Uh, they just rolled a zero on. Yes. That is. They're <laughs> wow. not. It's not going to. It's not going to connect with them. The fact that you're not one of them and they're gonna be like oh he must be from shadow fang keep or something like that <laughs> we never hear from them <laughs> wow okay well <laughs> i'm kind of just like confused be like uh. <laughs> i don't know what to say to zero <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> well I too seek to fight the rotting ones. I'll be for different reasons. I will not answer to you. But if our cause is the same, I will join you for now. Uh, and they say rotting ones. Man, those shadow fan keepers, they must have such a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> kind of just like Ooh. turn around back to ottoman and, and alligator and be like are they using i'm not, i'm unfamiliar with this language i'm not i don't understand what they're saying but i guess we're good <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem to be hostile uh, no, no not currently <laughs> um that's good i've seen i've known their kind to be Hostile for no reason before. So. Uh, so the one that appears to be leading this band of three is going to say, Now, uh, we were just about to cross this bridge uh, at night when we noticed that there's current, that the bridge is not there anymore. Now, it's a mild annoyance because we were really expecting to cross the bridge here. But, uh, you know, all costs and whatnot. Hip, hip, hip. Uh, well, the river is filled with rotting ones. Oh, how convenient. They're already rotting? Oh, good. Let's cross them. I turn back to Ottoman and be like, we're going to not have a very large party by the time we reach the real challenge, I fear. <laughs> There's only uh, so much I can do to protect them. Fear not, my friend, for the Lord <laughs> whom it shall protect us. <laughs> but I'll make the so, sign of Bohumet, which everyone, uh, of course, knows. <laughs> uh, so they are going to, uh, to after saying this, they're going to uh, begin crossing the river. Uh, so I'm going to get everyone to roll initiative, and we will cross the river. Okay. So initiative for an alligator, though. Whatever your dex is. Yeah, whatever your dex is. I think he has dex zero dex. I just posted it in the teal chat. Nice. So it's just a d20 then? You want to roll it for me? Uh, what's your dex? Like, big? Four. Four. I'll pretend you're... Do, 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 do. Damn. Some really great rolls really cool. today. So these, uh... <laughs> These knights, for now, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that 
I told them there's rotting ones there. If they're going to step into the river, they probably know what they're doing. I would step <laughs> into the river and fight them. But then again, mm -hmm. these are soft skins. Okay, so who am I missing? I'm missing Ashton's turn. Uh, Nick rolled a six. Ashton rolled an eight. So Nick rolled a six. What did you roll, Troy? I rolled uh, 15. Okay, good. So let's do settings. Numerically descending. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is more people to turn over than I thought. <laughs> but uh, just so you know, uh, Nick, uh, you decided to play an extremely loud song about who you were because they didn't know who you were. Yeah, yeah sounds, sounds like me. Like me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, which alerted a, a group of skeletons on the other side of the river. Oh, it alerted them? Yeah. Yeah. You did such a great job. We don't need to be stealthy. No, so they, uh, their bows are currently pointed towards you. Oh, but like they're underwater, bows. right? I never no, remember that these are like, the river undead well. bows. Oh, I so didn't they... see those ones. Okay. I gotta well. scroll up more. Oh, yeah, yeah look at that. so, uh, <laughs> they are going to, uh, walk within range. Wow. And ready an attack. Uh, so you see them just like pointing their bows. Yeah. Ah, fellow fiddlers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the members of the Crimson Crusade is going to wade into the river. Uh, and you just watch as he, he's just walking where the bridge was as if nothing is wrong. Uh, he's like, just jumps into the water. Uh, and immediately gets hit with a, well, shot at with an arrow. Uh, which just, like, pings off of his shield. Uh, and he just, like, looks down the undead and he says, Ha! Undead! Soon you'll be even undeader. Ha ha. <laughs> Something happens underwater that you don't know what is happening, so I should hide these guys from you. <laughs> aye, aye. I kind of just like watching that first night intently, being like, he's either very strong or very dead. And I'm interested to see which it is. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the leader, uh, well, the one that appears to be leading, also wades forwards into the water. Then you hear a little bit of splashing, but otherwise, nothing doing. Right, so the first one got shot with, like, one arrow? Yeah, one arrow. And the uh, other one didn't get shot? No, the other one has not yet been shot. Sorry, that okay. roll was for nothing. I just wanted to see what would happen. So, Vorgas, you're up. All right, so I know there's dudes in the river, so I'm going to take the dodge action and then mm -hmm. go underwater. Okay. Um, I don't know if it where it's deep enough to go under, but there's 15, there's 20. I want to like completely uh, go under so I can see. Yeah, one more step. One more step to go. go completely under. Okay. No, I'm completely under. I can see. Yep. So and you then... see three undead or three skeletons, each brandishing a short sword. Okay. So I have ten feet left. Mm -hmm. I don't know how fast they can move underwater. Probably not as fast as I can. I might have experience. I'll just go over here. Okay. Completely submerged. Spear in hand. Uh, did you want to... Oh, you used your action to dodge, right? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know where they were anymore, just in case I needed to deal with something on the shore. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you notice that one of them, uh, who is very purple, uh, 
says something uh, in like an awful gibberish that can at best be described as the gnashing of teeth together, but at very least the other skeletons seem to understand. Mm -hmm. uh, before firing his short sword at the uh, the crimson person that is one foot in the lake. That was a terrible range to fire a short sword. Uh, yeah, he's very good at firing a short sword. <laughs> uh, I did quick short bow though, right? I did. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> you wrote short bow, you said short sword. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so it, uh, a little arrow just goes and connects with the, with the criminal crusader. He says, ha! Is that the worst you could do, undead? And they're just taunting them the whole time. Uh, so the next one will rush in, uh, splashing through the water. Mm, no. We'll rush most of the way up, uh, pull out his crossbow, uh, aim down his sights at the, uh, at the purple one across the river, uh, and say, ha, huh, you think you can take a shot at my allies? So, we'll end you undead. We'll end all of you. Uh, I did not have a stat block, so I'm just going to use this short blow, but add an extra two. So two on top of that. Uh, and then two on top of that damage. Uh, if it's a so crossbow, connecting... no multi-attack, I think. Uh, no, no multi-attack. Yeah. Yeah, this is the two different people. Oh, cool! Sorry, this is your ally. Nice. The, Crim the Crimson Crusade is hitting this. Is hitting this guy. Yeah. Sorry, with his crossbow. I just I didn't do a stat block. I should have done a stat block. I see. Uh, I just this is the the mod would be six, so I'm just adding two to the mod that is for yeah. the uh, the skeleton. I'm just just repurposing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, don't be, don't be. Uh, what is skeletons? Uh, do 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 do. Uh, and just just like connects cleanly with a chunk of the skeleton. You watch his bone. Uh... Oh, no, which is a oh, so it's a cross couple. Oh. Uh, you watch as a large chunk of bone falls off, uh, severing uh, like two or three of its ribs just completely fall off of its body. Nice. Yeah. Uh, next up is Ren. Nice. And I can't go very far. <laughs> um, I guess I wouldn't really be in the water very much. I guess I'll have to dash, and I'll just end up sort of diagonally over here. Oh, yeah. It's uh, like you can swim faster than you can run. Okay, good. If I'm here, I can reach all of them. We'll come one more here. Perfect. I will be here. And that is all I can do, because I'm a crocodile. <laughs> okay, so you also are looking through your, uh, like your, your, your clear eyelid is closed to protect you from the water because you are a crocodile, and you're looking yeah. through your clear eyelid to see all of these skeletons. Nice. Okay. Uh, so this archer walks forwards, uh, taking up a position just behind the purple archer, uh, aims at the same target the purple archer aims at, and loses his bow with uh, advantage. Uh, connecting cleanly with this uh, member of the Crimson Crusade. So he's now taken 10 damage. Perhaps in response to the orders. Yeah, so it looks like they seem to be following some sort of order. Uh, and Basilio, you are up. Uh, you are just behind the Crimson Crusade. Uh, and you just watched everyone run into the water. Alright, yeah, <laughs> just sat back down at my desk, actually. 
All right. Well, obviously, I've been quite into my melody. And as I see them, like, rush off into the water, I turn and it's like... I hit, like, the wrong note. I'm like, oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Enemies. Well, now, how did they get so close? Guess I'll save the day. I will quickly... Stole my loot and draw my bow in one fluid motion as I run over here. Mm -hmm. Saying, hey, hey, ugly fellows. Uh, these ones are underwater. Uh, you cannot see them, sorry. All the ones that are in the water are underwater. I'm just yelling in general. I'm not yelling at yeah. anyone. It's okay. yeah. <laughs> sorry, just to make like clear what you can and can't see. Vasilio actually still has his hand over his eyes, so he can't see anything still. <laughs> exactly. Just, just I just open my fingers a little bit, glance. I was like, oh, and now I'm acting. Ah! <laughs> So I turned over here, running and flailing, being like, skeletons, skeletons, bet you can't hit the great Vasilio. And I'm going to let one. What's my range? What's a shortbow range? Do you guys? Oh, I'll pull it up. I think it's uh, 60. 80. Oh, 80, even better. I thought it was 80, but I just want to verify. I'll pull it up quickly. The skeleton's range is 80, so I can only assume that their shortbow is the same short as your shortbow. Short bow is 81, 320, yep. 81, oh. So, so this guy, this guy seems to be This bigger. guy was hit. Yeah, you can uh, hit anybody. Yeah, this guy has been hit once with a crossbow, and he uh, also appears to be directing the others. Okay. Well, that guy looks biggest, so I'm firing a shot to him, plus he's near my allies. So I'm trying to get their, just, their attention. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, hey, foolish, skeletons, arrow, straight across the river into his eye. Uh... As I duck and roll into this bush. <clears throat> You if connect you... right with his eye socket. Excellent. Damn. I was ah. going to say, if you miss, it's because you didn't have an eye. Bang. Uh, caving in a large chunk of its face. Uh, so now there's a skeleton with just half of a crumbled skull looking you down. Ahoy there! I wave. I will take the other eye soon. And then, can I use this bush as cover in any capacity? Yeah, you can. Excellent. I will duck into the bush. Okay. Dr. Ottoman, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to... No. Nah. Right. I'll go to the edge of the water here. And... Throw a javelin at this purple zombie. Okay. Wait, is he underwater or? Uh, he is underwater because of where he is. Uh, a little bit of him would be yeah, because he has a feathered cap. A feathered cap is sticking out of the water. <laughs> when you're this close, you should be able to see him. Is it a lavender a feather cap? A, a lavender feathered cap, the very one. Nice. I don't know anything about those guys, but uh, I'm sure they're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's right. You don't know anything about these guys. <laughs> uh, he looks like... Uh, oops, did I click pop out and not show the players? Uh, he looks like this, except much more skeletal. <laughs> Is this the guy that shot me from the start? <laughs> Uh, you, 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 you killed the one that was the skeleton of the guy who shot you from the start already. That's funny. Right. Oh yeah, we did rip him. I'd like to re-kill him. <laughs> no, you, you've killed him and you've killed his skeleton. Good. <laughs> and kill his doppelganger. God. <laughs> Anybody who looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> Those garments, what purpose could they possibly serve? Uh, did I get a, an attack for the uh, the javelin throw? Uh, not yet. Give me a second. Okay. Let's do... Lavender Merc. What is javelin throw? Is it like a... 20... Plus uh, strength, plus proficiency. Proficiency in javelin throwing? Yeah, you uh, have proficiency in all weapons. Yeah. It's two. Okay. 
So it's plus five. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Oh! Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see your damage with the double dice. What do I roll for damage? It's a six plus strength, I believe. I think it's a six, yeah. So 2d6 plus your strength. Yeah, dagger's four, the javelin's six. 2d6 plus strength. Bye bye. Oh. Oh. One, two, Great. three. <laughs> Easy as uh, ABC. So a large chunk of him uh, comes off, but the skeleton still stands. Yeah, right. uh, short sword in hand. That's fine. I bet he's scared though, right? Uh, <laughs> no, he's a skeleton. <laughs> uh, across the river, the two other skeletons heed the call of the uh, of the purple one, line up beside it, and both loose their arrows at the same target. Uh, both with advantage, and they both connect. Uh, he looks like he is very seriously injured, uh, but he steps forward. He says, "All costs, at all costs." Uh, and it's just like saying to battle uh, rushes forwards until his body bumps into a skeleton and says oh how convenient uh, and then smashes down with his war hammer Ooh. which is going to be like bad right <laughs> which, which totally misses because I think only piercing weapons work properly underwater Uh, if you're unfamiliar, I think it's like bludgeoning and slashing. It's either disadvantage or like resistant damage or something. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a swimming speed, then you have disadvantage on things that aren't the small set, uh, which they don't. But you, as a uh, as a lizard folk, would still have um, like regular, not disadvantage. Oh yeah, I could I could live in here. So you're right. You would have the, disadvantage. I should have rolled it twice. Well, I mean, it there's something to do with the weapon types too. It's uh, it's a dagger, javelin, short sword, spear, trident. Anything other than those. Ah, okay. So sh oh, so short swords too. Yep. Nice. Wow. I, which is exactly what these skeletons have. I was like, oh, they're Skeleton piercing. They're gonna be fine. Time. Apparently not. Uh, All but, those weapons with our piercings. It just Except clinks the off the armor. Oh, well, there's a few that are weird that aren't here, but hey man, I'm not the one who makes the rules. Fair <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> well. Uh, oh, shit. After a whole bunch of missing has gone down. <laughs> uh, and you have this, but you have disadvantage and you still connect. Uh, and they have, yeah, they have that to that. Uh, and this skeleton just completely crumbles under the weight of the hammer. Uh, you watch as the hammer looks like it is punching much more than its normal weight. Uh, <laughs> just like the bones just snap under the, uh, the weight of this hammer. Just snap, 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 snap. Uh, crushing and ending this skeleton. <laughs> Uh, the lavender skeleton that is in the water sees its uh, ally get completely crushed, uh, grinds its jaw together in this awful sound, uh, and rushes forwards to stab the one who just crushed them. Uh, missing, of course, as is the way of these things. Uh, this skeleton, just like the dead body, this skeleton moves to where 
the crumpled body of its ally is and attacks the leader of the Crimson Crusade with its short sword. Uh, critically hitting. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, it, and its disgusting rusted sword just sneaks its way past her heavy armor. Oh, man. So, Vorgaz, on seeing this, you are up. Seeing how sluggish these guys in, in the water are in the water. Although, one did just completely obliterate a skeleton. You know, Jerry's out on whether or not it was smart for them to come in here. I'm just going <laughs> to swim up to this thing like a shark and come in with mm -hmm. my spear. That's a big, uh, big flamboyant one because I could see him the clearest. Mm-hmm. You connect. Excellent. Uh, I, and this, uh, <gasps> these skeletons are wearing uh, scale mail. All right. Uh, just the oh, purple ones. Oh, oh. Yeah. So he's getting, oh, I need to roll a bit more on that one. I'm fucking him up. Oh, damn. Why, why does it change? Because my spear is very good against scale mail. So Just that's an one... additional weapon die added to that maximal. Holy shit. Oh, damn. And the next attack made against the same creature this turn has advantage. That next attack is going to be a chomper. Uh, oh, unfortunately, you have already... Uh, oh. I just it like all... obliterated it. <laughs> I am already dead. So I just like I was swimming on top of it, and I, I went completely on top of it and stabbed it right through like the head and the chest all in one, and retracted mm -hmm. it and continued swimming. To uh, <laughs> yeah, so your one. your spear just like sunk in through its uh, like slipped in through its uh, its scale mail, uh, wriggled around inside, shattering three or four critical bones that caused it to collapse. Yeah, I'm in my element here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'm going to come down and just try to remove the head from this one's shoulders. Uh, you connect to its head. Hoorah! From metal. And you remove it from his shoulders. <laughs> so just like swoop by, it's like, take both of them out. I mean, like, yep. I, if I could talk, I can't talk, but I just kind of like look at the other guys and continue swimming. When I came from here, 25? Yeah, okay. I'll go under the bridge. Okay. Staying underwater? Staying completely underwater, yeah. Okay. Damn, that was badass. That was very badass. I'm so stoked about that. Uh, so, uh, the purple one, after... Uh, well, we didn't see any of this because it was all underwater. Uh, you might but see a after, skull float to the surface. <laughs> after seeing its quarry here, uh, it's just like bobbing underwater, make clicking sounds uh, with its jaw uh, pointing at Dr. Ottoman. Uh, and the volley begins. Uh -oh. Does a 17 hit you, Dr. Ottoman? Sure does. Uh, so you'll take 7 damage from the, the purple one's bow. You might need a shield. Mm. <laughs> uh, and the uh, the Crimson Crusade member here with a crossbow will level will level this crossbow uh, at the purple one across the river, just like very cleanly connecting uh, and completely ending its life. Wow, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> the Crusade. I guess I, I made you good at killing <laughs> that. Really <laughs> uh, so it lights its crossbow up. Shoots, uh, uh, looks at Dr. Ottoman and says, I'd recommend uh, giving more arrows than you take. Uh, <laughs> uh, shoots its crossbow across the river, uh, just completely crumpling the, uh, the helmet that the skeleton has, uh, leaving just a, a headless skeleton that just slumps to the ground. <laughs> uh, Red, you are up. Well, seeing as... I'm slightly useless as an alligator. <laughs> the superior lizard is here. Um, <laughs> being not me. 
He's trying. <laughs> I, I appreciate Luke. you trying to follow my example. <laughs> I could like just crawl up on shore and take some arrows. Yeah, you have a uh, you have thirty swim speed. With that, I still can't yeah. reach anyone. Oh. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't know how much that transfers on when you get on land. That's a confusing yeah. thing. That's yeah, that's weird. And if I transform, that's my action. Can you like do a dolphin jump onto land? Uh, Real if fast. Me, if you give me an athletics, I'll let you move the thirty feet. Uh, you need to beat a twelve. Athletics. <gasps> Back to the. Okay. Cool. And that's the the strength mod. That would be so oh, impressive. Cool. Uh, I guess I can just roll, and then it's plus two. Uh. So, uh, you make an attempt to swim underwater, uh, jump up, uh, and like pull your propel yourself forwards. Uh, but instead of landing, propelling yourself forwards, you land on your belly flat. Uh, dropping just immediately uh, out of the water and ending your movement there. Nice. Distraction. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're expecting your feet to be tiny gnome feet, but instead they are tiny and wide <laughs> even, alligator even feet. tinier. <laughs> yeah. Alligator toe. Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I dodge? Or ready a dodge? Uh, yeah, you can take your action to dodge. I prepared a roll. <laughs> uh, the skeletons, uh, now without their leader, look uh, much more confused and much more primal, and they're just going to aim at the thing that is closest to them. Alligator that just plopped up on shore. <laughs> the very one, and they'll hit you for three damage. Three? Okay. They uh, each hit me for three? three? No, just the one. Uh, Vasilia, you're up. They're all aiming at you, but the next two aren't the turns out yet. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, so they're on a roll for me, taking their arrow shot. The skeleton oh, thief. Still, so I'll attempt to save Ren with my perfect arrow shots. So perfect. I'll roll yep. for so you. Perfect. Excellent. So you're a plus uh, four dex, is that a six? Plus six for the short bow, yeah. 24! Yeah. Excellent, good rolling. Uh, and his damage is 1d6 plus 4. But that, minimal damage. Oh, okay, minimal okay. damage. Perfect uh, It went right yeah. through the bones. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, which would normally be a great thing, but not uh -huh. this. Oh, great. You hit him right the in the heart he doesn't shot. have. Alfonso, did you see that? <laughs> and would you like to stay hidden in the bush? Yes. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, you, you very cleanly connect. Alfonso uh, is still talking in Draconic, not paying any, any attention to any of you, uh, oh, or any of the events that are unfolding. Uh, Typical he and moments. Naomi are now playing with the, uh, with the campfire, one of them making it uh, glow brighter with heat, the other one uh, with dancing uh, snowflakes all around it. It's the same like him. So, Dr. Ottoman, you are up. Hmm. All right. Let us try to murder. Are the only enemies those guys across the river? There. That's right. The others are all been crushed. Uh, if you would like to take a long jump, uh, you can cover a number of feet equal to your uh, your strength. I think you'd have to be 16 strength as a plus 3 mod. With a running I can jump a little bit though, right? Three. Yeah. Yeah, not as long as I thought. Alright, I'm going to back up 5 feet first to get a running start. Like Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm gonna like rev up. <laughs> Long jump. Run in place for a little bit. To, like to here. Which is kind of sad. To here? Yeah. Oh, that is 10 feet oh, off the dock. Pretty... That's pretty impressive, right? That is pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. 
Or then the right. crocodile made it onto land. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, and can I use my dash to swim forward? Uh, yep. Uh, so you, you're, you swim at half of your walking speed. Perfect. All right. So or it is as if it is difficult terrain. Would be a, the equivalent. All right. I swim to shore then. Okay. So we, uh, oh, that's your action. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you pull yourself up on shore, and you see three uh, ragged skeletons, <laughs> all with short bows out, aiming at a crocodile. Okay. I'm, I'll shake the water off me like a dog. Uh, you feel much drier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the two skeletons, whose turn are next, are going to aim at this crocodile. Uh, what's the AC of a crocodile? Troy totally linked this. I should just look oh, at it. It's uh, He's 12. Ooh. 12. Oh, you barely miss. They barely miss. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Good scales. Oh, See? Actually... Scales, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> actually, I think my normal AC is higher than 12. <laughs> so... yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Ottoman, the two members of the Crimson Crusade, will uh, will clamber up on the other side of the pier beside you. Uh, uh, look at how you're shaking yourself off like a dog and be like, oh, what a great idea. And then they'll start shaking themselves <laughs> off as well. And you just hear like the rattling and the clinking of... Uh, uh, heavy armor beside you. Vorg as your own. Alright. Uh, how how, how much mall. movement does it take to clamber up this dock? I guess it doesn't really, I could probably just get to this guy. Eh? Yeah, it's well, difficult were... terrain, but you can still, yeah. You, can easily you went get... under the bridge, though, didn't you? Yeah, well, like, under the water in front of the bridge, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clamber up and just like slip past these weird noise making maracas, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna come in with a big uh, the big s poke. I keep wanting to say slash, but that's not how spears work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, slap. You connect. <laughs> Excellent. For eight damage. For exactly the amount of damage that you would need to just crumple the skeleton. Excellent. So leaving my spear outstanding in him, I'm gonna like spin around the sphere and just like leap past him and then pull the spear out as part of my momentum to jump into this guy. Mm -hmm. If I still have five feet of movement left. You do? You I have do. exactly five feet of movement left. Excellent. He gets the chopper. just lines up just Ooh. as much as is necessary. Ooh. Except for that. Ooh. And you just like you go to chomp and you just get a bone in your mouth. And it's not a pleasant bone. It's like disgusting and covered in gross flesh oh uh, <laughs> it's stuck between your teeth and yeah. you will not be able to use your uh your bite next turn <laughs> I, I, i'm picturing like i caught like a piece of bone and like that perfect like hold the alligator's mouth open pose and like oh, ah! yes and like i yeah. reel back and just like take the extra effort to like snap it ah! <laughs> spit it out <laughs> doing no damage <laughs> Ugh, gross, but yes. <laughs> Spitting out the goo. Uh, the crossbow-wielding crusader is going to fire a bow, an arrow, over your shoulder, which is surprisingly close to your shoulder, so close that you don't know if he was trying to avoid you uh, mm -hmm. and connect with this skeleton. Uh, kind of glance back with distrust. God. Skeletons, why do you have a damage vulnerability? Times two is a lot, man. Crumpling the skull of the skeleton. They have damage vulnerabilities? I don't want to comment on that. Oh, okay. Uh, but maybe <laughs> they might. Who knows? That's interesting. Uh, crumpling the skull of the skeleton. Uh, huh. Yes, uh, that's why the giant hammer completely crumpled. Oh, Sorry. To, I tried to, to make that very it. clear. I think I yeah, might have missed that in my damage. skeletons that I played. That's um, funny. So like that's why these guys are very good at killing specifically skeletons. That's good. That makes sense. It should be uh, <laughs> should be hammers should fuck up undead. Yeah. Well, not undead. These skeletons in particular. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so Ren, uh, you are up. I get to do something. You do. I might just walk up to this guy and bite him. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, give him the chomper. Uh, do, do, do. Should I just roll a d20 for that? Uh, His no, attack I, is in the, the thing. The plus is uh, plus four. Four, so it would be d20 plus four? Mm-hmm. Cool. And then plus 1d10 four. plus two if you hit. Oh, damn, that's a big hit. Nice. Uh, what you do? Seven plus four, eleven. And let's see what type. Oh of no, plus it two. Is. It's piercing, but piercing. it also has a grapple associated with it. So, so they are pinned. So you've grabbed the skeleton in your mouth, and it is pinned uh, to you. Rest- restrained, brutal. Mm-hmm. Fucking crocodile. At least he goes right after me. <laughs> oh yeah, he does totally help nerf this guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's still holding his bow. Uh, so he's going to make roll. an attempt to escape so he can grab his sword. Uh, escape DC is 12. Uh, I'm assuming it's a dex roll? That's uh, a very unclear... Oh, no, yeah. It's a gr- grapple escaping is uh, acrobatics or athletics, I believe. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh, which is this one? Uh, and he just barely manages to escape uh you just like he leaves some bones behind uh, <laughs> to get himself out uh drops his bow pulls out his sword and stares you down uh but that's his full turn so basilio you are up but there's only one skeleton remaining all right uh again i'll just shoot my bottom okay nice. give him the goods you rolled a nine Ooh. You needed more clips. Uh, yeah, <laughs> need, need uh, Next as, time. Your, as your mark is far away, your uh, your arrow just soars over his head. Uh, Doctor Ottoman, would you like to end this fight? I would love to end this fight. Uh, run over there next to Mister Crocodile. Mm-hmm. So, Dr. Ottoman, I think that your weapon that you've labeled as weapon is a hammer. <laughs> if I remember this correctly, <laughs> you threw hammers. <laughs> he dueled in hand axes for a while, and then he got like an orc Oh, it was axe, hand axes. It's like, no, it's a hand know. axe, not a hammer. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. The axeman. No, it's okay. I've got an orcish battle axe now. So, um, okay. So would you good. like to ask this guy a question? Oh, I would like to ask him multiple questions, but I'm limited to one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to ask him, how does this feel? Good job. Now, wait just a black minute. <laughs> Feels like it barely cleanly connects with the top of his skull. Ha ha ha. Suck it. Get it. And crumples him. <laughs> All right, looks like it was the will of Bahumat. So, I love that you the things that you guys said have just made two encounters appear out of nowhere. <laughs> As it should be. Ooh. So, uh, this encounter existed because you went underwater and you're like, there's going to be undead underwater. And there was just, there was not. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, it makes sense that there would be. And you just actively looked for them. And it's way cooler if you find them. If you go under one, like, there's nothing. That would just be a super lame thing. So here, here's a quick encounter. Let's throw some skeletons in there. That's fair. Yeah. But we got them. <laughs> And Dr. Ottoman says, I'm being chased by something, so there's an encounter. It's <laughs> great. It's great. So, well, these lands are dangerous. Perilous. You know what I think the best thing about these encounters is? Is that you guys have done exactly the correct number of encounters that were completely unplanned to hit a level up. Yay! Nice. Oh, <laughs> level so five funny. is hype! Yeah, let's do it. Fuck yeah. Boy. Are we are we gonna long rest in the middle of this hex crawl? 
Hell yeah. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, this is what you actually prepared there. for the night, David. We're only like two hours in. <laughs> oh, man. I empathize. <laughs> I love it. Nice. The Twilight Druid gets some wicked stuff. <laughs> oh, yay. Sort of. He just gets extra, like... For some reason, it just adds, like, smiting spells. Oh, sick. <laughs> like, I don't have to prepare, which is kind of nice. This is... Five is huge. Like, you'll you'll get an additional tier of spells. Martial classes get extra attack. Everybody gets their proficiency bonus bumped, so our shit gets more accurate. And I guess you get class features, too. Fuck yeah. Oh. So, I also, I think it's super weird that we were on one map as level four, because we did a big encounter where we should have leveled up before it. And we had two, two surprise unplanned encounters. But... Well, but like we didn't sleep we didn't sleep no so this is this is this is what makes sense it feels weird though cause i don't know uh, this is uh we're far from civilization fighting a war you know yeah. boys grow up to be men pretty quick levels come as they come why are we so teeny tiny so welcome this is going to, to be the other side of the river component. So, as you look out, you see uh, to the uh, north uh, west a forest. You see two mountain ranges to the far north. If you zoom out all the way, you should be able to see them. Uh, oh, where you see Mountain Peak. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, but in front of you is a forest to the east and farmland to your west. Farmland. Hmm. Okay. So I think you guys had an idea of where this thing was, right? Vorgaz doesn't know where it is, although he's very good at traversing the wilderness. If you tell Oh, that's him. right. You know exactly where it was. Uh, you being uh, Ren. So Ren knows, if you zoom out completely, Ren, where a tower is and where Bremen yeah. is. Okay. But do we want to go to Bremen? Bremen's scary, and I'm almost dead. <laughs> this uh, this journey is going to take a while. I'm sure we'll be able to sleep before we get there. But where? Where is the challenge? Where is this lich you speak of? It's way up to the north, west. Ever? Oh, the top top right. Is it up right? Never. Northeast. That's the one. Okay. How how far was uh was the battle? Actually, I feel like you should be able to see more, just not the enemies in them more. So let me just like I'll put them on the move jam them to the appropriate yeah, not visible, and then let you see more. More stuff. Area. Yeah. Nice. Do you know whereabouts the Dark Spear tribe fought the undead in that large scale battle? Uh, to the south through. of here. Oh, south of here? Uh, okay, so this is further yeah. than I would have traveled. I wish that I could say that it was uh, this swamp, but this swamp is very new. It's normally an irrigation plain. Uh, that just happens to currently be swampy because no one is caring for the irrigated lands. Okay. All right. Which, like, that would be way cooler if it were that, but I didn't think of that in advance. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You don't think lizards live beside Bremenese? No, no they'd be, yeah, they'd be in a swamp, uh, not close to civilization. Yeah, it'd be way yeah. <laughs> so true. No, no, it's fine. I just, I was just curious if it was on this map or not. I just would have had a remark. So we're going northeast. Well, it looks like so this forest. Which, which way do you guys think is best then? Because we could follow the river and have like be sort of covered by one side or we could go through the forest straight to bremen or we could take the grasslands and be able to see further 
Mm. Well. Uh, and you also just... see a few roaming bands of undead. So you see uh, some uh, undead here and here. They don't see us? Uh, not yet, they don't. How long like, would it take to travel each hex? Like, how big are these hexes? Uh, you can travel five hexes in a day. In a day? Yeah. Okay, how much in an hour? I guess that's, like, not even close. Uh, like, let's say it's a ten-hour day. So, like, two hours per hex move. Okay. Well, I have, um... The reason I ask is I have a spell called Pass Without Trace, where mm -hmm. I can like crank up the party's stealth for one hour. I'm just curious if that'd be enough to like. Uh, I would give you that for one guys. hex, yeah. For one hex, uh, cool. And if you wanted to use your once a day sprint along with your Pass Without Trace, uh, you could do two hexes, but that is only one a day. Okay, that makes sense. Otherwise, we can get five squares. Okay, well. Yeah, I I would love to lead this party through the forest, but I don't think we're all adept at stealth. Then again... Short and can hide anywhere. <laughs> Speak for yourself, my good lizard friend. I would be happy to accompany you through the forest. I bow fucking <laughs> dandily, sweep my hat wide. <laughs> Perhaps you can leave the instrument. Ah, yes, my instrument. It does give me away. <laughs> but when it comes to stealth, I am all business. If you need a lead scout, I'm your man. Excellent. <laughs> well, perhaps we could leave these tin can men. Hmm. The tin men? Indeed. The tin men. Mart, I'm sure they won't be able to keep up. I'm sure they'll I'm march into every battle they see. Although, I have no qualms with that. Hmm. Indeed, the way they fight, they seem to be able to march into battle. But uh, I'm assuming you're probably looking at me with a, a weird, incredulous look, considering I, like, started the other fight and <laughs> you haven't seen me stealth yet. <laughs> Nobody has, I think. Yeah, that's true. I have, I, Vorgaz doesn't have a reason to be impressed with Vasilio yet. Plenty of reason <laughs> to be impressed with Ren. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Lots of it, 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 man. It'll come out. <laughs> no, no, well, the, the last fight before you got on, Ren was like the only one of you guys who did anything. That's fair. <laughs> uh, uh, I bet my whole party is like, what the fuck, Vasily? You've never stealthed before? <laughs> <laughs> Not only is he never stealthed, good. but the last time you saw him, he was in fact so bright and glowing uh, <laughs> before the last outing. The, yeah. the idea is is, co is comical. <laughs> <laughs> Highly skilled. Well, uh, Vorgaz is content to hunt every undead between here and the tower, as opposed to like going for a bloodless approach. I don't know if, if the, <laughs> what the party feels like, but Vorgaz is like, yeah, like the more we fight, the stronger we get. Better that we kill them before they see us. Fair. One more that we kill now is one less we have to kill later. Indeed. It's take, logical. Take stock of our troop. As long as we're not losing people as we progress, I see no issue. We do not fight like the mayor. Just yeah. throwing people at an issue. <laughs> Come on. My vote is the forest. The forest, where we stalk our prey with impunity. But probably yes. ahead of the tin ones. Yes. There. Okay. Uh, so you want to leave the tin ones behind, is that correct? I feel like if we want the ambush, we're not going to get it with them. Okay, so uh, you know that the tin ones includes Dr. Ottoman, right? Uh, we're gonna have to figure uh, him out. Actually, no, we need Ottoman. Okay, just <laughs> why don't we just... lift them back and we'll scout ahead? Yeah, try to avoid them. If we send a know, quiet fail, room. then we'll kill them or just attempt kill them. I guess so we can convince Ottoman to get naked. Yeah. Uh. Um. 
Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can lead them into a trap. Maybe we can roll for some sort of trap setup. And we're awesome in leading them into it. You seek to use your rest, allies. I can lead them bait. in by being a goat. This is smart, actually. I like this idea. You like goat? <laughs> well, the, the metal ones would be bait without even knowing they're bait. Indeed. We play them, place them in a spot and let their tin armor sit still and quiet. And then we lead our foes into them. Oh, no, I meant if they march, <laughs> they're sure to go attract ahead. all undead in the area onto them, and then we can kill them. Oh, that as well, yes. Perhaps it's a more aggressive plan than I was thinking, but yes. Perhaps we establish a perimeter as we march, and the undead will have to slip past us to attack them. And then we spring an ambush. We have them between us. Seems risky. And heroic. I'm in. I'm down. Get her done. <laughs> All right. So we can just march straight into this one. We could try to be stealthy, but like I think our formation is the stealthy ones are going to be on the outside, and they probably will succeed. And then the knights oh, will yeah. get like. So uh, I'm going to bring one. this into a map uh, that is just for the purpose of looking at what our walking formation is uh, so that when we eventually get into a fight, we will see what our formation will look like to start the fight. Uh, okay. So we're in the bottom left corner. The thought is on the map. We're just going to move us around to look at what our formation is. How, Ren, how confident are you in your stealth? Real good. Real good? <laughs> Real good. Because okay. I'm thinking like we're, good. we're like 30 good enough, feet away from the noisemakers, at least. Maybe more. And like maybe like we... a like a wide formation. Okay. Like yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Maybe like a flying V. Okay. Who would you like to be the tip of your spear? Be right in the front. <laughs> I I I could be the tip of the spear. Uh, I have a lot of wisdom and dexterity, which is good for stealth and tracking. Uh, I don't know what yours is, Nick, Vasilio. But Vasilio would mm. uh, more guys would volunteer to track because he's a uh, used to being a hunter in the wild. Are we five now? Profic what's proficiency? Three? Uh, unless we rest, we're just a two proficiency. Oh, okay. I'm plus eight stealth. Okay. So you will be the stealthiest. Are you a good tracker? Tracking? What's yeah. that? Uh, like perception and survival. I know, I'm talking with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I could pathfind and you can ambush better, probably. Works well. So I'll, I'll be the tip of the sphere, because I'll see them from further out, probably. That's true. I, I can't see in the dark anymore either. Oh, mm. right. That's that's true. If we're well, is it? It's not nighttime, right? Like it's just a forest and day. Fair enough. So I don't think dark vision's really going to be an issue. Yeah, it's but, the middle of the day. Um, but if I need to, I can cast dark vision on myself. Yeah, so I think um, if we're like all 30 feet apart, I can't control your guys' tokens. But like, yeah, something like this. 30 feet, and then like Vasilia was 30 feet, and then the rest of the crew was like 30 feet behind that. So hopefully, if they attract attention, they'll be far enough away that they won't blow our cover. And we'll still have the ambush when we start a fight. Sounds good. I yeah. have a bunch of boiling. So, uh, I don't have any of your stats put it correctly for a guess. I should have done that. Oh, I uh, can... What's your health? That's just like the one that I want to put in here. Oh, my health is 35. My current health, okay. I think, is 29. Everything else is dealable with. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think it was 20-something. 20, 20 That's fine. Then you okay, buy, so like, you, want, and you want Basilio and over here? Uh, I was... Oops, sorry. I was thinking... Here. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah right here, where okay. my arrow is. Okay, you got it. Yeah, here we go. And then the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah, probably. The first tin can. Ottoman can probably be here. They're like, 
We'll, we'll make it like a diamond. Here we go. And I, I think my, my assumption is if if their stealth is blown that we won't be seen from this distance. I don't know how correct I am, but I, I think that's what... Uh, give me a survival. I will give you a survival. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so your your basic understanding of tracking and hunting is that that distance you would you should not be seen. Excellent. Nice. Well, let's let's freaking do her. Let's go hunt those undead. They're in our path. This will be our first battle as a united group. Let's see how we fare. Okay. okay. Every one of them in our path. So back to our hex map. Now that we have our battle plans where do we go first so we have five uh, actions what is our first group action uh, what do you think guys should we go into the forest now between them or should we avoid the first one by going to the plains and then into the forest uh i think we should come at it from the side there through the forest that's the one yeah through the forest yeah okay plus one to that vote and as soon as we get there, I guess we'll we'll stealth when we're close enough to them and all that. Okay. Uh, what is your passive perception, Troy? Mine is uh, is ten plus wisdom score, right? So it's twelve. Mm -hmm. Is uh, plus proficiency. Oh, plus proficiency. Oh, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, it's 14. whatever your skill bonus is in perception. Ten okay. plus that. So it's fourteen. Okay. Okay, uh, so as you enter the forest, uh, you can clearly see that in, I know that, like, this is a blank square, just like this is grassland, not forest. This guy is oh, in that you can perfect. see. Perfect. Um, so as you, well, well, as all of you together, not just one of your tokens, come on, stop moving one token, you <laughs> stupid game. Cecilio, <laughs> I know you want to go alone, but, like, stop this, man. I got this. Don't hold me back, DM. <laughs> <laughs> we're all taking a nap he's like where's Vasilio I'm in the front follow me boys as you enter the forest you can clearly see uh, a group of undead in the grassland in front of you uh, do we see you see at least two ogre brutes uh, excellent and at least one purple hat but otherwise, you can't quite see that well into their numbers. This fight will be glorious. The purple hats seem to command them. Perhaps we should prioritize it. Indeed. Are you close enough to talk to me? Oh, yeah, 30 feet. No, we're not. <laughs> I sent you a message with my new cantrip. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if but before we enter the grasslands, I guess we can kind of convene again to discuss how we're going to break cover. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I, I do have a message cantrip. Like That's excellent. It. I'm uh, like alarmed. So I'm like what? Oh. <laughs> you can answer back. Back up again. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> uh, well, at least with like the four, just to like before we break cover, kind of stalk over to discuss mm -hmm. how we're going to approach the situation. Nice. So I guess we just keep going and then probably we want the brutes to be away from Ren, but it's fine if they hit all like the big boys. So like are are the purple hats behind the brutes? David? Uh yes. So I think our ideal situation will be the stealthy guys get past the brutes and engage on the purple guys immediately. And then the brutes will just go for the the metal ones, and it'll be great. Like it. Ground, hit them from the back. Let's do actually it. flank them. So, <laughs> you know what I think is uh, is wonderful, is that you guys have chosen to fight in the one square that I didn't think there would be any fighting in. <laughs> you thought we would avoid them. I really like. I put I put them out in the open. I was like, yes, you know, walk right past these guys. 
as they're just here to make it interesting. They might spot you and they would go to you in like not the green grassland. So, uh, uh-huh. okay, I love I the tall the... grass. I'm just like slinking through it. Can well, I? Uh, being a DM, David. David. Can I change the background color of something? Oh, I can. Oh, Look at can. this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You guys oh, remember when I this. built an entire raider camp and you guys decided to climb the cliff walls and avoid the entire thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we Isn't use like the greatest 5%. map we've ever seen. This looks like it. a glass a grassland. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it looks like a, like an artboard where you do like you're cutting stuff with an exacto knife. It is this flat. It is that flat, I should say. Uh, do, 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 do. It's amazing. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. This is how they would live. Ogre zombie. Skeletons. <laughs> One, two, three. Cobalt Cyclops has four. And another one. And one more. And, and you are a purple one, good sir. So this is how they would be hanging out. Nice. Would, Aud would Ottoman have had a chance to short rest before we did this? Uh, no, because you guys immediately started moving. If you wanted the short rest, you okay. can before you begin this encounter. If you wanted to take a short rest in the forest, you could. That would be lovely. I feel like that might be a good idea. Because me and Ottoman are at the same amount of health. Which is pretty <laughs> low. Okay. It's, it's not uh, great. So we're going to take a short rest in the forest. Uh, and I'm assuming we're going to roll some of our hit die. Yeah. I oh, yeah. play them an excellent melody. No, don't. Six. Don't do it. What? Oh, I play you guys a, a really quiet tune. <laughs> Very quiet. Just, like, what did I tell you about that? Yeah, he also added e six. That's hilarious. <laughs> what happened? It's fine. I'm like looking at him. Like got my violin at him. Like I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that's, that's my hit die. That's funny. And my key replenishes. So I think I'm oh, just so we, full health now. We get an extra d6 on top of the... Yeah, from my bardic skill. Every time we short rest, I, I heal you guys extra. What the fuck? No. <laughs> no. I gave five all together. Go small one gets small numbers. Apparently. <laughs> That's so sad. Can I choose to roll another hit die? I'm not hurt, am I? Yeah, of course you can. I didn't okay. get hit last round. You, you don't have to it since then, right? Off the bat there, just let me put this up. To... Uh, Basilio, you are at full health, yes. You have not rested since your last fight, though. Uh, but you didn't get injured that fight. Okay, nice. Thank God. <laughs> Cool. Right, so if we're headed into them, I think we got to rotate 90 degrees. I would be up here somewhere. This way. You guys want it to be up here hidden and attacking from this general direction. Oh, we're attacking from the north. Sorry. I thought we were from the east. Oh, no, you're coming from the from the west. But the I west. thought you guys wanted to be flanking, right? That was yeah. what you oh. said. It was a sneak. You guys wanted to sneak around? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, sorry. I was picturing, like, like if we were in the lead, we'd, like, stalk past them and, like, overlap them. But, no, this makes more sense, probably. Yeah, I'm not going to let you go all the way past them. That's a little bit much. <laughs> so, so, so we'll curl around. We'll let those fuckers engage. We'll get as close as we can safely. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be within attacking range-ish. Eh, maybe a little bit closer. Got to get within 30 feet of them. That'll be the attempt. Yep. Uh, let's get a stealth roll from uh, Basilio and Vorgaz, who are leading the... Uh, actually, all three of you in the pincer. I cast Long Strider on myself before we start there. Okay. Like, as we're getting close, we got, I got an hour of it. Stealth! 
<laughs> the best laid plans. Now you right? have advantage for guess. Oh, thank fucking god. <laughs> all right. So, 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 all three, stealth uh, me and not embarrass me right. in front of the board, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Wait, what, your mod was a plus eight. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Crouch oh, down yeah. and begin to yeah. follow him. You're twelve. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, they're very lucky that skeletons have like the world's worth passive perception. They're very easy to hunt. They, they are. don't have they're ears, easy. so like it's yeah. nice. <laughs> you, could, you could very easy. So, I are you guys? Lucky. I mean, everyone else did a great job. Just <laughs> <laughs> you, you know who you are that didn't do a great job. Hey. <laughs> He's like still humming the tune from the short rest. <laughs> oh shit! Do it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as you guys begin, uh, how would you like to initiate combat? So I think oh. we were within thirty feet of them. I feel like we should wait until so we'd be like all the big them guys the line. notice the uh, our loud people. I draw my blade. Okay. So I think you guys are with me at the front, right? So you all within mm -hmm. range. Yeah. I think yeah. me and Ren are, yeah. Blades are out. I think we want to yeah. wait till the ogres leave. Yes. And then we'll okay. catch the other ones. It probably um re like a react uh, sorry, a ready action is only a mo like a move or an attack, right? Yes. Okay. So... Are you certain? I can just simply defeat you in single combat. Yeah. So I think, um, I think my my ready action would be like I, I I yeah like if we get a surprise round or anything like that, I want to initiate with a ready action to be like if the ogres are gone, the next skeleton to move. I just want to dash in front of it. Okay. So like nice. to kind of stop them from like getting out of range, I guess. Okay. Smart. I. Uh, you get to draw your sword for free, right? Actually, That's this right. might be a terrible idea. Maybe I'll just, I'll just wait till we get a turn and the ogres are gone. Yeah, I think that's the best plan here. Is just can to, I get an initiative from everyone? Yeah. No. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna opt to not ready action. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> My rolls have just been on point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or that means I rolled a one. Love it. Oh, jeez. Nine. Wow, we are not a very initiated bunch. Fine. We want them to make the first move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I wanted a roll from Basilio. What is your initiative? What is your deck? I'm coming. I'm here. Oh, whoops. whoops. I tripped. Oh, we're fighting? Fuck. For leading this whole yeah. little, like, <laughs> scouting mission, we have, like, terrible initiative. So hey, we're, yeah. we're waiting for the... We're setting a trap. That's true. We are. Are we? <laughs> Not rushing in there. Ottoman is the trap. Relax. Relax. <laughs> so you do get uh, the surprise round is going off, and you did manage to sneak past them, uh, but uh, your your heavily armored fellows did not, uh, so they will not get to act in the surprise round. So skip, 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 skip. More guys. Sense. What would you like to do? All right, so the did, did they notice the armored fellows? Uh, it looks like they have, yes. Okay, so their attention is on them. Yes, quite. Okay, then I'm just going to slink behind this one then. Mm -hmm. And hit him with my spear. As quietly as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, so, because you said as quietly as you can and you critically failed, you are as loud as you could possibly imagine. 
<laughs> so, so I go to stab, uh, and it like hits like a metal piece of his armor, and it's like it's like a dinner oh, bell. Like, oh, yeah. Wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, all of the skeletons turn to face you. <laughs> I will um use a key point to bonus action. Um. What what is the thing? Patient defense. So I was like, okay. all right, I understand my failure, and I just like dip back in like a defensive posture. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I think that you have one key point left. Is that right? Uh, I get them That's all back in a short rest. Oh, you get them on short rest. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, Doctor Autumn, you're one of the cling clangers, so you're not in this. Uh, the skeleton, surprise, surprise, Basilia. What would you like to do? Obviously, uh, we'll dash in, cut them apart. Obviously, obviously, yes, of course. Right, let me just look at the situation here. Vergoth has already led the way. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I, ra I rang the dinner bell. That reptilian we've uh, gathered here has quite the bloodlust. Back me up, friend. Both my blades come out. <laughs> and has this thing like noticed us yet? Uh, the ogres, they noticed your cling clanging heavy friends. And then they heard a clang. So they've turned to face. Well, this one at least mm -hmm. has turned to face for a guess. Yeah, I, I basically gotcha. ruined the whole plan with my crit fail. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. I slash up here. And then duck low. And then slash this thing as I run past. Mm, Sorry, Chai. I think that's a fair crit fail. I think it's <laughs> hilarious. Reasonable. Okay. It's very appropriate. <laughs> Borgas, you weren't supposed to make so much noise. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> I... Short sword attack. <clears throat> uh, you connect. Uh, Radiant burst. Bam. Nine like radiant him. damage. Roll Killing it say. outright. Perfect. Man, I gotta stop using skeletons. You guys are just too powerful for skeletons. <laughs> Perhaps. I follow the slash into a complete spin and then kind of like tuck and roll under him as he's like following or falling. Kind of like roll onto my one knee, dive back up, and then launch myself at this guy, slashing with my other blade. Mm. <laughs> Connecting Fire with the skeleton. Blazes. Uh, mm -hmm. But this one, in all of his purpleness, continues to stand. <laughs> it appears to be a little bit tougher than the others. Alright, all right. no problem. Continuing to spin, I feint a third attack. And then I dash backwards, disengaging, heading over here. Okay. And then... Even oh, further. Holy really? Shit. That far? Ha! Ah. Oh, Long Strider, right. Long Strider, and then my attack of Blade Master, or Blade Dancer, gives me an extra 10 every time I hit something. And then I have the mobile feet, so I get 30 plus my movement. Damn. So, actually, yeah, I'm here. I'm 60 movement. Oh. Every time I hit somebody, I get extra 10. Oh. Red, what would you like to do? Shit. All you guys and your Damn. multiple attacks here. Um, uh, you just reminded me, I have 40 feet of movement. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Both my blades bare, drawn towards uh, death. Wait, you think I think are the yeah, yeah, yeah. fastest centaurs? No, it's monk. Uh, the monk, monk. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking forgot about that. <laughs> oh, you're a monk? Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to... Uh, Back up behind these two a little bit and cast Moonbeam on the big old fella that noticed us here. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a thing that's set up for that. Shit. Okay, this is fine. Da -da -da. So do I just... I, I can't remember how 
quite this works. Uh, when they start their turn, they need to make a con save. So it's when they'll start their turn, they'll make this. Actually, because they yeah are not after you. Their turns are still like their next turn will be at at, at number seven. So where's your moonbeam? Your moonbeam is a forty foot high, five foot wide. So a uh, yeah. single single point. Oh yeah, no, it'll be like. Oh come on, it won't let me ping with the ruler. Be right there. Or I guess in in this square. He's facing us. Unleash the hammer of dawn. Hmm. Huh. Good and plan. Do... The square. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go with the one beside it. The, just just down one square. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see some moving. Oh well. Uh, I feel like right. my health is a bit too low, but I, I really don't know when anything levels up. Oh, dim light just fills the cylinder. That's so strange. Hmm. Cool spell though. Aim. And it must make yeah. constitution save. Dun -dun. Uh, they will when oh, they okay. start their turn. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Um, and I can't really move any further or do anything else. Okay. So cool. Yeah. So next to the clanky ones, because uh, we have finished our surprise round. Nice. Uh, and they are going to use all of their movement to dash up towards the uh, the ogre zombie and immediately get up in its face. Just just as in its face as they can get. Uh, <laughs> always forward. Just as a... oh my god, is Zin Zhao among them? Uh, that's like, these are like very much like Damascians, is, is, is how I have imagined them. Always <laughs> forwards for Damasia. <laughs> Damascians without morality. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, this one's dead. Let's nice. get rid of his turn. And this one is not dead. So he's going to shoot at uh, Borgas with a short bow. Whew. Does 15 hit you? Uh, no. I have 16, so we're good. I'm also dodging. Whoa. Very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so I just okay. definitely dodged that one, seeing it coming. The, uh, the leader of the Crimson Crusade will also rush forwards towards the ogre zombie and say, Die, zombie! Die! Uh, four guys, you're up. Oh shit! All right, I'm going to uh, slink into this purple one mm -hmm. and nail it with my spear. Ah! Uh, Calling. No. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. You use made so much noise that you might have been heard by someone on. Nearby hexes. I don't remember if there was anyone on nearby hexes, but if there was, <laughs> they've heard you. <laughs> so, um, this tactic is not working. So, Vorigas is going to blow a key point to use the um, Flurry of Blows to bite him mm -hmm. twice. So, I like, take my spear and just, like, ah! and just go in with like a sweep on my tail and just like chomp. There's first chomp miss, second chomp. Second chomp connects. I got him! I got him, guys! <laughs> chomp. uh, chomping his head off. Uh, Instead of spitting it out, I crush his skull in my in my mouth, and I'd spit out all the pieces. Gross. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, Dr. Ottoman, you are up. <laughs> I don't. Gross. Oh, sorry, Troy, would you like to move? Uh, oh yeah, I could move. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll just engage the next one in melee, so he can't okay. shoot me. All right, I will dash over to this ogre. Uh, as you do so, huh. the uh, the Crimson Crusade are going to smile and be like, "Ha! One of us, always forwards." Ha ha! <laughs> Um, you can't I, kill a zombie if you're not standing beside it. Am I right? <laughs> I guess I'm inspired by that. <laughs> but I'm not sure. 
if, right. if Bahamut ever tells you to sleep on the couch. You sleep on the damn couch. These guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going to stop there. Okay, uh, so the final one is also going to dash forwards and be like, ha, we have him surrounded. What can he do? Good work, men. Especially you, new recruit. I mean, yeah, new recruit. Uh, the This skeleton is going to shoot at the very, very loud, clanging <laughs> lizard folk. All right. 16 Dude. is the armor class. But I'm okay. going to use my reaction to try to catch the missile. Okay. So that will be... Mm, I reduced the damage by 6. And Which because is enough to all of it. fully catch it. <laughs> Excellent. I could so would you like to throw a key it? to throw it, but no. Nah, my key is more valuable in other ways. Okay. I'll just like... Yeah, instead of catching, I'll just like bat it down with my tail. Okay. <laughs> That's badass. It's the first time I've ever used that. Uh, I have no idea who this giant zombie would try to crush. There are just four <laughs> people all trying to surround him. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Let's just. Let's just, just roll a dice. Yep. They're mindless. So, yep. So he is going to attack down at the crusade member that is below him with this giant tree branch in his hand. And just like flail stupidly. <laughs> like the big dumb zombie he is. Just uh, leaving a crater in the ground beside the person, but completely missing him. Uh, Vasilia, what would you like to do? I'm gonna finish chewing my food. Mm. Give me a look. <laughs> oh my god, I ate all of that food. <laughs> I've seen Borgoth bat an arrow out of the air. I didn't realize I ate it all. I'm gonna be like, ho ho! Well done! That's quite the trick as I run up here. And we'll dash alongside him, cutting this guy, and then cutting this guy, and dipping over there. Okay. The right there. Uh, my recollection is that you only get to not get hit by opportunity if you hit. Is that right? No, I just gotta attack. Oh, it's just if you attack. Okay. Yeah. Just gotta okay. make the attack. So let's see. My dodging. All right, first attack. Radiant blast. Bam. Connects. More like blast of radiant light. Uh, and the radiant damage just completely evaporates his bones. Just whoosh. Nice. <laughs> there is no so more. Like, I do that like as I pass as Roth. I slash with my right hand, and then like I stab into the attack, and then I like dance backwards the last ten feet and stab with my left. Like behind my back into this thing's stomach. Like holding it backwards. And once again, you connect. You have not gotten Bam. less than a 20. Fire <laughs> erupts in his stomach as I like kick off him basically and roll forward and land on that end mark. Uh, he is continuing to stand and his. Uh, while the radiant damage made the bones light on fire actual fire doesn't seem to work on bone it doesn't matter you know, to me you know what I, I mean, right like... with my hands out wide and sweep and bow <laughs> to the to the skeleton and then put my weapons back on guard come you're thirsty for more i see i don't care if he doesn't respond to my taunts this is for me <laughs> <laughs> uh, he 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 doesn't respond to your tongue. His loss. Four guys was going. At... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say four guys was growing increasingly impressed with your fighting style until you opened your mouth. That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my whole thing. <laughs> Wait, that last bit I don't understand his purpose. 
<laughs> Every time I speak, I look like a fool. Every time I fight, I'm awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Ren, can I get you to roll a 2d10? Interesting. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Uh, so the moonbeam sears off a large chunk of this ogre zombie's flesh. Uh, but he has a lot more flesh. Uh, so he is going to rush forwards towards the clanky one, clambering over the dead skeleton, lifting his... Uh, it says tree branch, but it's a tree trunk would be more accurate, like... <laughs> the tree that is in its hand to crush down upon Voragas. <gasps> That's a hit. Uh, but he, uh, he he hits you with minimum minimum damage. A glancing blow. The bendy branches. I was uh, I, I was spinning around and moving so much to to hit that arrow that he couldn't really get me square in the center of mass. Mm -hmm. uh ren you are up nice uh, uh well i will swing that moonbeam over up in here oh it's your action oh that's interesting it's not a bonus action it's an action yeah right here high, high committal yeah uh and i'm just gonna scoot in here a little bit further it is 2d10 though yeah but it does it, seem like so, strictly worse than Flaming Sphere. No. The text is kind of odd, though, because it's when like, a creature enters the spell's area. So that wouldn't count when I just move it on them, right? It's when... It's when they walk into it. Yeah, when they walk in. Yeah. Damn. Might as well keep it going. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like a, it's a very efficient use of a spell slot. I get, it's much better for like a crowd. So if the skeletons grouped, it would have been better. But uh, so I don't know if that's true because it's a five foot, like it's it's oh, one it's square. Right, yeah. Like it's a very interesting spell. I feel like it's its biggest pro is that it is radiant damage, and radiant damage is very hard to come by. And like it, it's cool. It's very cool. It is very cool. Okay, sorry. Uh, is that your turn, no. Red? Uh, yeah, that'll be all. I can't really. There's nothing else I can do, is there? Not really. Yeah, that that will be all. Okay. Uh, what was their hammer? I think it was a plus six. Oof. I'm like 70% sure I gave those hammers a plus 6 last time. So, yeah, let's just... Uh, it's not a tree branch. It's a warhammer. It's two warhammers. One, two. One of them connects. For 14 damage. That is not the correct damage. Four, eight plus four is twelve damage. So they take a large, uh, just like chunks of the flesh of the ogre zombie come out. Four guys, you are like up. A tree. Yeah, they are just like, just like trying to club at its knees, or the pieces of flesh that compose what would have been knees. Would have been knees. The jello kneecaps. Yeah. Like, I, got, I really gotta make these people as characters. <laughs> Give them backstories, personalities. Yeah. All of those things. Yeah. I love it. I'm gonna stab up to this thing, uh, just trying to get into its heart from underneath with my spear. Hopefully, mm -hmm. not crit fail. Uh, could have been better. Uh, you connect with one of its four hearts. One of its four hearts. Excellent. Three more stabs to go. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Wow. Go figure. Wow. <laughs> 11 damage. <laughs> and I'm going to gonna retract that and then just try to wheel around it, interpose myself between it and Ren, mm -hmm. and Mark. bite at its kneecap. Okay. Ja. Uh, and you get a big chunk of its flesh in your mouth. Goodbye, kneecap. <laughs> no more legs. Uh, and it just like it has a much bigger kneecap than your mouth could imaginably fit around. So it has still <laughs> a lot of kneecap left. <laughs> All right, well, I, I, I'd spit that at it. Okay. And it's just a pile of flesh. gross beside you. Yeah. Ottoman. <laughs> there you go. I gave it's it some plans too. Uh. Dr. Ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the stink glands make me laugh so much, but they just do. This, it looks it's like so glasses. Funny. It does, doesn't it? I was thinking like a dumbbell, but yeah. Um. Glasses glasses might be better. I was just like I was just like literally just scribbling with the mouse uh, at full zoom out. <laughs> oh, I, I was thinking that like I bit his knee so hard that like he excavated his bowels and shat out glasses from one of his earlier kills. Dang, it's like a big chunk of gross flesh, <laughs> and it's like bigger, more stinky stink lines. Yeah, I have to find some real food soon. Brush my teeth. So it's my turn now. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm attacking this motherfucking ogre. I'm going to do it twice. Because <laughs> I have that ability now. Gaja, gaja. You connect with both hits. Suck it, ogre. Oh, wait. Oh, we're, not, we're not level five yet, are we? Gaja. Oh, no, we didn't long rest. Oh. All right. I'll only take the first one of those then. Okay. Damn. I'm gonna take the bigger one because I'm not, I'm a nicer person than that. Cause they, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> yes, the dungeon master is benevolent. <laughs> uh, except like these things have a lot of health, so like your giant battle axe just like cleaves a big chunk off of flesh, and there's just like a large piece of flesh sitting beside you, but there is just so much more flesh in these things. <laughs> They're too big. Uh, and you're like, you're starting to butcher it. But there's so much more to butcher. Uh, the, uh... Your Crimson Pal is going to uh, to make an attempt to slash it as well. Uh, this is the one that was recently hit. Or, sorry, that wasn't hit. That the zombie tries to hit and like, yes! Keep uh, piece by piece, flesh by flesh. You will become broken. Zombie. Uh, and they take off a big chunk of it too. Uh, with their Warhammer. Uh, just like a big chunk of flesh falls off of the zombie. And you just like... It still has a lot more flesh. But you guys are just like slowly axing pieces off of it. Uh, if you were... Um, a certain papa who was tall. Uh, you might make a joke about turning these into different steaks. Because there's so many different things to flesh. <laughs> One might. <laughs> uh, so the skeleton that is still alive is, is, is still like very much aiming at Vorgas. Bring it on. Uh, and it's shooting. Oh, if you, and it, it brings it. Alright, can I swat it? Yeah, I can swat the Anything. shit out of that arrow. I burst the arrow into pieces with my tail, just swinging around. <laughs> <laughs> Helicoptering that thing around? Like... <laughs> Maybe this was a great plan after all. <laughs> I never realized how good of a tank a monk could be. <laughs> you're also like, you're really like getting one projectile a turn. That's true. It's like, it's perfect. It is, yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
Uh, so once again, this uh, this zombie brood is gonna aim at the same uh, crimson member, uh, and just just miss. Just like there's just too much armor for his little tree branch to to cleave through. By little tree branch, I mean giant tree branch. <laughs> but like, just like just clangs off the edge of the of the shield. <laughs> too much power. What would you like to do, Vasilia? Vasilia? Oh, he's muted. Oh, I see. I think he mutes whenever it's not his turn. Yeah, which makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah, here, I wasn't unmuting there. Sure. There we go. Um, give me a second. Computer back up. And... Okay, well, this guy is obviously still facing me. Mm -hmm. Now he's facing Borges. Oh, okay. Uh, he just shot Borges. Big mistake. Big mistake. So I dash in and slash him again. <laughs> Radiant hand. Bang! And you connect. Just a cross straight for his neck. Describe Ding. his death. As the blade passes through it, a radiant flare erupts, and his head is just kind of launched from his shoulders, and his body is just kind of standing there with like a steaming husk in the neck, and it slumps and falls down. And then I do a complete spin, and then come in low, not even looking at my kill. <laughs> and then I quickly turn and launch myself at this guy, and just kind of like high up in the air, Blade leading, and then I got the reverse grip again. And I stabbed down at him. How do you get the second attack? I have two swords, and oh. my uh, my combat style allows me to um, get a bonus on my second one. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Fun stuff. Oh god. Fire reverse grip stab. Oh, so you're in the moonbeam. Hey. Pardon me? Don't stand in the moonbeam. There's moonbeam. Is that it? The egg. No, it's, it's the... Is it, it on him? Oh, uh, yeah. it's on him. It's Sorry, it's four squares. I don't know how to draw this nicely. Like, it's it's this. I, I was trying to make the grid do it, but the grid didn't do it correctly. Okay, it, it, I'm it's still on it then. Is this where you wanted it? Because it's a, it's a, a five-foot radius, which is like a intersection of... Four squares. You put it on a point. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there is perfect. Okay. Okay. Cover the whole damn body. And then. Like, what an awful. And then I, I run around like this. I do that. Ha <laughs> ha. There really is no good way to make you look. No, he's just holding a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? This is really tough, man. Um, if, you, if you if you search for magic, you'll find some like nice sparkly shits. Yeah, because it's just a dim light apparently that burns. <laughs> is there no one else? I yell that to the zombies. Uh, these zombies do not appear to have ever spoken common, so they don't understand the words you're saying. I <laughs> care not. I call them out. I think them cowards for not coming at me. Okay, give me your 2d10 again. These zombies are just like not having a good time. They're eating it. <laughs> this is a... This bodes well for our group's continued missions. Well, you know... It's higher than the last two rolls. I'd like to add my final uh, the the harvest size die on that as well. Okay, it would be another D ten. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, and its flesh is seared. Uh, and like uh, you know, like when you're cooking a steak and you've seared the outside of the steak. But you know, like, it's still blue on the inside, and you have a lot more searing to do. Yeah. 
Like you should have like cook the steak before you eat it. That's what this zombie looks like. All of its skin is seared on the outside, but there's still a an uncooked inside. Oh, but it's also <laughs> extremely rotten. Yes, extremely rotten. So it's gonna try to attack Gorgas uh, with its tree stump. That's and I hit. think it connects. Yeah, uh, For fourteen. Mighty fourteen damage. Okay. Just knocks the side of your skull with it. Just boom. It's a very yeah. accurate tree attack. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> what would you like to do, Ren? He's still standing in your moonbeam, so you don't have to use an action to move it. But it is your concentration. So, what can I do while I'm concentrating on something? Uh, you can still cast any spell that's not a concentration spell. So you could cast a firebolt. Uh, you could cast a lot of other like spell spells. Uh, you've used both of your wild shape, but you could wild shape. I hadn't wild shaped twice already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, you can yeah, attack I'll, I'll... Imitar. You have many non-concentration things. Yeah. I don't really want to get that close. Your produce flame is... That works, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go for that there. 22. Uh, you, you connect. And my rolls have been all over the place. <laughs> uh, and like, it's already seared, and that just like. <laughs> There's a little bit of a darker part on it now. Like a little, uh, little speck. It, it lost like three body hairs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna piss this for myself. Okay, so the uh, the two Crimson Crusaders that are beside Doctor Ottoman are going to try to attack and like just cleanly connect. Uh, for a total of fifteen, and just continue slowly butchering this zombie. But slowly butchering the zombie for Gazira. Uh, they, they seem like they seem very happy that their uh, their warhammers just keep cleaving off chunks of flesh, and they're like, "Ha, huh, we're getting closer." And this is like this is like four kids playing the same whack-a-mole machine. <laughs> yeah, that's that's accurate. <laughs> I'm gonna stab up at this. Uh... Yeah, I need to stab into the kneecap, the same one that I tried to bite already. Okay. For 14. You connect. Smoke him for a clean 10 damage. Just yank it out quickly. Um, how <laughs> injured does this guy look? Uh, you've taken off large chunks of his flesh. Uh, but like, there's at least one regular person worth the flesh left in him. All right. I'm going to blow a key point, and uh, hit him with a flurry of blows. Okay. Try to end this guy rather than going into a defensive stance. 23. You and connect. the other hit is a 20. Both connect. Oh my god. Whew, I found my way to be accurate. He stopped moving, man. <laughs> for uh, 14 altogether from the bites. So this is rapid okay. succession. I just go for this, like, chop twice hard. Trying to chop uh, this guy down. Also on the mouth. kneecap? Yeah. I'm just keeping all okay. my attacks in the same spot right now. Okay, so you've severed the leg, uh, and his movement is halved, but he's still uh, able to balance on one leg like a disgusting flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Knock him down. Knock down this weird <laughs> flamingo. We could probably just like leave, and he couldn't follow us. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no survivors. <laughs> Excellent. I'm done. Just leave, just leave my moonbeam on them. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, he just keeps following us into the moonbeam. Yeah. So, Dr. Ottoman, the ogre zombie in front of you has had big chunks of it. Just like slowly cleaved off by yourself and the uh, members of the Crimson Crusade. 
Uh, he looks like there's still a lot more flesh. Like at least half of it is still there. What would you like to do? I will use my axe like a carving knife and I will pretend he's like a Christmas turkey. Walk up slowly and like save your uh, drumstick. I gotta shave off some choice bits and pour gravy on them. Okay, you, you connect with your choice bits. <laughs> so you didn't have to get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof, and it it is splurting out some gravy for you. Mm. <laughs> I'll sample the gravy a little bit. Uh, gross. Uh, make a constitution. <laughs> oh, no. Hang on a sec. Oh, shit. I clicked off the fucking website. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he's a paladin. He's immune to poison. <laughs> Wait, no, what level yeah. do you get that? Good question. I wasn't aware that that existed. Neither was I. <laughs> I thought that was an effect of uh, lay on hands was to remove. Oh, okay. So you you don't throw off. But you would like to. <laughs> don't remember what character you're playing in there, Sean. You're not here. Cooking barbarian. Yes. <clears throat> dental paladin. I mean, it still seems like he took it pretty well. <laughs> not poison, disease, you're immune to. I'm not watching. But, you know, you're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to rub it on your gums. That's yeah, that's what I was doing. He was oh, okay. <laughs> testing it on his teeth as a, an ointment. Ah, yes. There you go. For experimental research. And no wonder he's fine. <laughs> Everyone back off. Everyone get off his back. Not like I ripped out his heart and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> that's this the time, letter. I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's the end of every the crusade is going to... Uh, to smash with the hammer, also with the similar choice bits that you went for, uh, is also going to see the gravy pouring out and is like, oh, sampling gravy, are we? He's also going to be like, this is disgusting. Why would we do this? <laughs> Looking like, why would you do this? What an awful thing to do. <laughs> Tastes just as gross as I would have expected. Science. Oh, um, so you're saying Sean <laughs> unintentionally poisoned our allies? No, no, they but they 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 got a also got a pretty good con save. Uh, so the zombie's gonna try to crush Sean with, or sorry, Doctor Ottoman with its uh, tree stump. Uh, Fourteen misses, I assume. Man, this is how you get COVID and spread know, to 14. civilization. Okay, Basilio, uh, you are up. They both both of these ogre zombies look like they've had big chunks of them yeah, missing, but they're <laughs> leaking their disgusting oozing gravy. What would you like to do? Um, neither are turning and engaging me. Neither are turning to engage you, no. They both seem quite uh, engaged with their own things. And they they, they saw what I did to their allies. Yes. Like my guy's like looking incredulously now. Like, nobody's coming to fight me? This is, this is ridiculous. In... Outrage, I will cast uh, vicious, vicious mockery, mockery upon this one. Okay. You, ugly, large villain, fight me. You cannot best me. Oh, to make it, a charism, is it a, a save wisdom saving? saving? Yeah, I think it's a wisdom okay. save. Uh, 15. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Man, that's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, All right. You can't see it beneath the rolls of its rotten neck, but he has a bow tie. So it's made worse wisdom save with its minus two than it has with its three rolls for a con save with a plus four. Well, uh, I'm frustrated. You see it on my guy's face. I'm like, oh, mm. I like I stop my foot. foot. I got like my fifth clenched on my, both my blades. I'm like, ah. Oh. And then I run in a circle. <laughs> okay. She's like, run, 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 run. Yeah. Run, oh, oh, run, oh, run, I, run. I'm running here. Okay. 
<laughs> this, <laughs> this Vasilia is like a prodigious child. <laughs> you see those moves? And nobody's fighting me. <laughs> Seed. <laughs> All right, that's oh, that's wasted potential. <laughs> Wait, did you get... Uh, what? No, he doesn't. Sorry, I was like, wait, does he have extra reach with his giant branch? But no, he just has five foot of reach. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, I thought you were running within ten feet and running away. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have, I would have used a luck point to dodge it if I needed to. Yeah, not this I'm not kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's gonna start his turn inside of the moonbeam. Just like. It just, just oh. gets the worst. Constitution <laughs> saves. Can you roll the 2d10? Yeah. Oh, right. And because it is radiant damage, he does not have any chance of surviving it. Yo! Nice. Uh, yeah, because it's radiant damage, he does not get to roll his ended fortitude. So his flesh just sears off completely. Uh, and he is a... Uh, the... There's no longer an animation of the flesh. Uh, he just becomes a gross, rotting chunk of stuff. Stuff! While burning shit there. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, that makes sense now. I'm going to slide that uh, moonbeam right past Vasilio onto this guy. Nice. Okay. Yeah. There was not enough fight left in the monster to engage Slide me. Slide up in Makes here. Sense. Uh, that's a little, little too far. <laughs> Gotta keep someone between me and a big scary ogre. <laughs> <laughs> that will be all. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are just the worst at rolling constitution wow like, <laughs> the, the, the structural integrity has just been compromised after all this whack-a-mole yeah uh, so after all the whack-a-mole this uh, this this giant zombie is eventually turned into little pieces of butchery little butchery right, just like just smushed by the the combined blow of three war hammers and a giant orcish war axe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and no. uh, the leader of the Crimson Crusade will walk over to be like, "That was some good butchery there." Uh, and uh, she's gonna start uh, asking you about how you did it. She's like, "How did you manage to to take off such a big chunk of its choicest bits?" His choicest bits. <laughs> I'm not the one who Dr. uses the Dr. Out of this. He's the finest doctor around. Oh, he can take yeah. off any bits he likes. <laughs> Sean. Sean! We seem to have lost the Ottoman. Okay, well... Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, your, your how did you manage to us. take off its choicest bits, Dr. Ottoman? How? Yeah. Uh, like carving knife style with my axe. Oh, that's so impressive. We always take uh, warhammers to battle the undead because we know there are skeletons, but it looks like the axe is a great idea against the zombies. You could take off so many of their bits. Their bits. Uh, so she's going to be super... They really do have a lot of meat. <laughs> and uh, I am not in a amount of not having a headache to describe the way that she is flirting with you, but like very obviously she is now flirting with you. Oh my. As a man of God, I flirt back. Like, wow, what a <laughs> sharp axe. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the bearded lady? Uh, no, this is just uh, this is just a regular uh, female. 
Oh, one of the knights. Uh, uh, yeah, knights or paladins, holy warriors. Sick. Uh, she might. She's a paladin. You just don't know that yet. Uh, All right. Well, I will return it, but I will be like very bad at it. Yeah. <laughs> Good, because she is also very bad at it. So the but, two of you awkwardly flirt with each other. But did you like Perfect. compliment her on her gums or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm walking over to Ren as this is happening. I'm like staring credulously over at Ottoman and what I can only assume are zealots to fucking <laughs> killing me undead. Because <laughs> they strike me as crazy individuals. I like most people. I'm Vasilia. Most people like me. But if they like Ottoman more than I, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this word, zealot? Ah, hmm. It's a uh, religious fervor? Um, obsession. I look to Ren for help. Uh, um, overtaken by a desire? <laughs> How good is your English? <laughs> I know common, but uh, I have no need for useless words. Uh, obsession. The term zealot. Obsession no, is uh, is a waste. That's that's going to get them killed out here. Ah, yes, my eyebrows raise and I'm like nodding my head. I'm like, you do understand the word. Quite so. <laughs> there is there is no emotion in battle. There is only the fight. Well, I I beg to differ. Emotion and exhilaration on the field of battle is among the greatest things in life. I like swing out my sword and I'm like, like holding it out towards a field, like in a heroic pose. Yes, yes, the exhilaration of battle. Ah, yes. Without that, I don't know if I could even fight. I kind of just like cock my head to the side. I have never felt it. Hmm. Well, we come from different worlds, my friend. I like sheathe my sword, look back, and smile. But I'm glad we can see eye to eye. Your combat skills are impressive. I like look at the field, the work you did. I saw you deflect that arrow. I very impressed. Never seen anything like that. Aye, ah, you moved quite adeptly in the battle. It was as if seeing my own tribesmen slink about. Oh, you honor me, so I bow deeply. <laughs> Just that. Uh... <laughs> This, the actions you take after, I do not understand. There's no tactical <laughs> well, per benefits. Perhaps you will come to understand, my friend. I like smile widely and put my hand out, and then as my hand like comes out, it like goes my back, and I pull my violin out, and I like spin around in a circle, start playing a tune. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Well, I suppose we don't need to stealth for now. Yeah, yes, indeed. I think we've defeated all the enemies in the area. And if so not, is... we'll simply defeat those that come. I play louder. So we've used, skipping uh, <laughs> we've used four of our five moves for the day. Uh, one was in getting on the hex grid. One was in moving to the forest. Uh, one was in moving to this grassland. And then one was in fighting the enemies here. Uh, so we have one more move left for today. All right, I guess we can just head for deeper into the forest. We don't see anything there, right? We would? Or should we be uh, checking this out? You would just... Yeah, you would see something that's not hiding if there was something not hiding. Not hiding. Okay, so we should probably scope that shit out. Same formation? Sir! <laughs> uh, we could search while entering a tile. That's oh. one of the things we can do. Mm -hmm. I have your Google Doc. Uh, so, yeah, but you don't have the actual move for it. Oh, that takes two moves to move and search? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. Well. Did we go I up guess... or No, because the... you know what? No, because this wouldn't have been one. You do have the ability. Sorry, entering would not have been one. It's just like zero, one, two, three. It'd be more accurate. Yeah, because it's zero. Okay. Oh, okay, we gotta, so we, we got to count the like computer. So should uh, we just okay. track it and see if we can... Like, I think it, it beats, go two uh, tiles, or? 
Well, I think I think it's one tile to move and one to search while we enter. So it'll take two moves to enter it safely. To search while you're entering? Okay. Uh, okay. Who is going to search and what are you going to search with? Uh, survival, get... perception, or investigation? I would I would search with... Uh, well, survival or perception makes no difference. I guess it depends on whether I'm looking for noise or looking for tracks. In this case... Probably noise because they're coming from the north. They wouldn't have tracks from the south. So okay. I'm just going to keep my eyes and ears open. My my sniffer. I have a good sniffer. Okay, let's see how your sniffer does. Come on, sniffer. Not good. Uh, I do not smell the taint in the air, but okay. the taint is everywhere. It's and rather than senses. letting everyone roll, I'm going to make the assumption that someone is helping you and is also sniffering. Okay. Um, uh, does that so, mean you want me to roll again? Uh, either one other person roll who is also doing it at the same time, or you roll again. Uh, up to you guys. Oh, can I roll? Do it. <laughs> I've had all the bad roll. What am I rolling? Perception? Yeah. yeah. I'm sniffing a flower. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you don't notice anything uh, when you walk in uh, because there is nothing. Ooh, lucky. So lucky. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the taint is everywhere, but perhaps we can rest here for the night. I found it. Okay. Smart. This is. Uh, this what? is it. How would you like to rest? Uh, <laughs> da, 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 probably. We could probably set a fire, but uh, I don't think I'd I particularly need one. You guys might need one, so I won't bring it okay. up. Okay. But I would, uh, I would probably just... has uh, the pop-up tent? That's you. <laughs> Is it me? Yes. Okay. I'll throw that thing out there and set her up. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to find food for the crew. As a part of the the long rest, I guess. Or okay. While we're kind of uh, this place based out. on this... Forest, uh, you would expect that you'd be able to find uh, small birds or other game, but you're not. not uh, anything? No, it looks like almost everything is dead. Uh, so instead, you're so just hungry. finding a bunch of berries and fruits. I'll eat them if I must. I am an omnivore. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I know you're close enough that you do find uh, one fish as well. Uh, in a little pond. All right, that fish doesn't make it back to camp. Okay. I eat that fish. <laughs> All right, I regale <laughs> uh, the Crimson Dawn with stories of my early life. Okay. Uh, as you are singing your song about your stories, uh, you notice that your shadow is dancing uh, slightly differently than you are. Hmm. Oh, damn. If, if I, you're... I look down and I, I, I try to match the shadow. I'm like, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, roll a like performance. Okay, somebody give me. It's plus six. I got you, fam. Are you are you singing your stories? Yeah. Well, I was I was oh. actually just thinking I would talk to them, but David said sing them, and I like that better. Yo, if you're if you're singing the history of your people, more guys is into it. He's gonna bust out his little hand drum and kind of go. All right. All of his people's yeah. history is oral. All right, I'll give you some like Cormirian like war tales. Mm -hmm. Oh God, right. why are you guys We're doing this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, turn it up, <laughs> turn up the heat. Yeah, yeah. I would Next, love. Do I like copy my shadow? I would like, love to say like, oh, successfully. Uh, I would love to say that you successfully have a log rest so that you all level up, but. Someone decided to take a rest right beside a hiding wolf. And then someone decided that we would all get in on making noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's... I mean, I said I was regaling them with tails, and you said I was singing. To be right. fair. 
I assume that you were singing, and then Borgas. I'm said, only fighting because I'm, I'm so not even in on, on my that. desk, so I have. I didn't <laughs> see the ten. <laughs> I actually, I wasn't gonna say anything when one of you was singing, and then when Borgas said, "I'm getting in on that. I'm gonna play my hand drum." It's like, well, okay, well, I don't feel like this. playing his drum at all because I'm like orally telling a story or whatever. Then I'm into it, and it, it spirals out of control. So <laughs> do what you must do. <laughs> <laughs> So I forgot next... that we're even on the battle. I'm into it. That's so funny. our uh, our next fight, we are still going to be level four, not level five, because we're going to get interrupted in the middle of the night. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll sleep eventually. We'll kill this wolf first. And that will be at our next uh, session because I'm getting tired. Yeah, good. Yeah. What What are you thinking next session? Uh. I'm thinking we can do next week because there's no reason not to. Because I am now unemployed. In a great world. I was thinking the same. Sean's got that opportunity to be with us too. The, and uh, like, nice. to be completely honest, I would totally burn myself and you guys out. But I could do two sessions in next week. I'd be down. Huh? We'll see. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's a good idea. <laughs> I think actually I distinctly should not do that. I'm gonna like immediately take back that statement, but like I could. <laughs> Just do it early in the week, and if you want to do another one, because like, oh, we up. have red on Thursday already. Oh okay, yeah. So let's. Uh, is Tuesday okay with everyone? Yep. Okay, yep. so Tuesday the twenty fourth. I will try to remember, but my brain is not that great. <laughs> I'll text well, you. We'll as post. You. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Ten minutes late at Shelby. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with being a level fourth, one more level. I haven't even used my level, like my new spells or anything. Right? I know that's what I was saying is because you guys didn't rest before you did the big event. You had like one map at level four. Yeah. Wow, uh, and then because because you guys uh brought encounters into existence. <laughs> um, I like. Positive thinking. <laughs> Positive thinking. Yay. Well, that was the premise, I guess. We had to be stronger to fight the the lich. By the time Clayton rejoins us, he'll be like, oh, nice, nice. We're ready. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Yeah. We're going to so fight increasingly challenging battles until we're strong enough to fuck the lich up. But also, yeah. you got to hear those stories, man. I'm playing yeah, I mean, that bongo. We're getting the payoff. Yeah, it was so, just like <laughs> shooting the shit and making stuff up, but now I guess I'll, let me, uh, I'll let me up something. Right so, uh, <laughs> Bongo. Well, uh, do you want to do you tell your story right now, or would you like to do that next session? Well, if you give me till next session, it'll be a little bit more than me just making it up right here, yeah. right now. So I, I have that nothing. idea. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be I'll like, at least we'll, like, write down like, the a paragraph of like a little melodic tone basically similar to the last thing i prepared oh, high effort yeah. nice <laughs> bongo session <laughs> yeah i don't know hand drum. Hey, what does a hand drum even look like <laughs> i wanted to be like yeah my guy like i'll go on watch while you guys like do other like important things but then i was like no my guy like starts chatting up to people Ren is just mad and goes to bed. So this is how you make friends. <laughs> Socialization. Oh. Yeah. Um, Ren, if you're already in bed in the hut, the hut had features. So you might just be in the hut, which is totally cool. Because I would love for the hut to be involved with things. So I'm in the hut. Tell me. Okay. So I just, I, people were sitting around the fire, and I was like, I'm going to bed. What's Ottoman up to? A woman. Oh, <laughs> Ottoman, is that true? Waiting for me to leave the tent. Already asleep. <laughs> Already okay. asleep. Okay, Bro. I've written everything down. It's there. Wait, how did this right. get changed to Hellhound? Oh, that's funny. He just, he just took us. Wait, is that is that Steph that did that? I think so. <laughs> yeah. It's late. That's Alrighty. funny. Yeah. Sorry, I missed the beginning, but good game, Sarah. Good session, Dave. Yeah, GG. That was fun. Yeah. We're bringing this crew together.
Mm. I'm gonna crawl this hex. That the entire beginning, uh, that uh, before you arrived, Nick, was entirely things that I did not think were going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much of, the entire game, though. At but the end, I've of, planned so many things, and it just goes completely awry. <laughs> oh, so at the end of last time, you guys said, uh, like Troy said, I'm gonna check underwater f- to see if there's zombies. Mm-hmm. And I was just not gonna have that there. I was like, you guys are gonna cross the bridge, and then we could do the next thing. And I was like, but if he's checking underwater for zombies, it's super lame if he doesn't find zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so here's some zombies. Here's an encounter. And then I asked Sean, how are you going to get back to the group? And he's like, oh, I'm running away from something. I'm like, okay, yeah, here's an encounter for you. So there, there was two encounters. They were just entirely uh, <laughs> because you guys are awesome. Yay. That's fair. Just yeah. get creative yeah. with it. You fill in the gap. The gap. Yeah. We have fun. Can't wait till <laughs> level five. We're gonna wreck shit. I don't even know yeah. what to do. I actually don't I get. Oh, I get some third level spells. You get third level spells. Yeah, level five. Yeah, is... that's why they really don't give you anything because third level spells are huge. You can mm-hmm. do fireball then, as a druid. Proficiency bonus, which is kind of nice. And then I get like a couple things from. The being in the circle of the twilight, which is like a couple just spells that I don't have to prepare, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Yeah, circle spells. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But none of them are actually druid spells, so they're pain in ass to find yeah. from my side. <laughs> like well, having them up them. in front of me here. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what spell list, spell do, you list do you use? The one I have I'm just to using the. I, I can just search it. Yeah. Can, but it, it's I just a pain to have like multiple thing. tabs up on. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. So you usually just kind of use this here. If you use this Which site, list? you can actually just save your spellbook and have them all on a page. Which site? That I just linked it. Oh, I've been using. Like, if you make an account there, like, you can tell it which ones you have prepared. Yeah. Oh, I've just been using this and, like, remembering which ones I have prepared. Oh, you the, the SRD doesn't have them all, either. It's yeah. missing oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can add things to your character sheet, um, which is, like, it, it's up to you how you want to... I like putting things in Roll20 because I am have a bunch in there of monsters. With you then. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've been using Rule 20 more and more. It's actually super convenient. Because yeah. like so, in your journal entry, you can put all your spells in your character sheet. Like you have a character yeah. sheet. And then you can change that every time you prepare them. Yeah. And like I will have uh, like four characters open on my second monitor, uh, which are like enemy, enemy, uh, Nick, who's, in a, who's not by his computer, and sometimes Sean. Like that oh. kind of a, uh, or like enemy, enemy, uh, ally, ally, or something like that. Uh, that way it's just like super easy. Uh, okay. I didn't make these allies in Roll20, which is why they just got raw rolls, but. Yeah. They're about to get raw Ottoman. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Poor <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Oh, good night, guys. Good <laughs> night. I'll see you, you too. Yeah.